puse aquí y no puedo, no me atrevo, es que sí, te veo, no sé qué decir. Solamente quiero amarte y todo mi calor brindarte Te haré olvidar sus penas que te hacen mal Hay que dar el sentimiento y cada momento vivirlo Te haré olvidar sus penas que te hacen mal Con el amor se puede siempre alcanzar lo mejor Con el amor se van a cumplir si tú lo deseas puedes volar solo tienes que confiar mucho en ti seguir puedes contar contigo te doy todo mi apoyo si tú lo deseas puedes volar si tú quieres el cielo alcanzar y las estrellas tocar decepcionaron el mundo soledad y llanto tu gran verdad nada en el fondo del mar decidieron engañarte venderte un mundo impresionante pero al final solo 
vale tu fuerza de amar es el amor el que echará fuera todo el temor por el amor los sueños que tengas se van a cumplir si tú lo deseas puedes volar solo tienes que confiar mucho en ti seguir puedes contar conmigo te doy todo mi apoyo si tú lo deseas puedes volar si tú quieres el cielo alcanzar y las estrellas tocar Estrellas tocar, oye, si tú lo deseas puedes volar, solo tienes que confiar mucho en ti, seguir, puedes contar conmigo, te doy todo mi apoyo, si tú lo deseas puedes volar, si tú quieres el cielo alcanzar y las estrellas tocar, oh. Hello. Hi. Uh, plan on getting the gym. Plan on getting a gym membership come August. You hang out with an IRL friend you haven't seen in five years. You're going to have pizza with non bread and all that. Sounds like a lot of fun. I, I hope you enjoy yourself with that friend eventually. Anyway, uh, before. Before. Before we get to watching Megas, here is a, a sneak peek as to what will be in store the next time Loophole Theater comes around. Because we're finishing Megas tonight, but what will happen next time, which will not be uh, next Saturday, it'll be like eventually. But what's, what's coming next? Calling Buzz Lightyear, the galaxy's greatest hero. Skilled, courageous, and ever vigilant, leaping into action, Buzz Lightyear hurtles to the rescue. His ongoing mission to protect the universe from the dark forces of evil. These are the adventures of Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. So a fun fact about that show, which is the reason why it will be next to come up on uh, Loophole Theater, uh, it is very unavailable to watch legally anywhere online, except uh, except for archive.org. But, you know, obviously, it's the place that's not, you know, it's kind of the place that you can go to for things like that. But because it is unavailable for streaming... You can't buy the official DVDs except from, like, secondhand people. Uh, just like Megas XLR, this is fair game. In fact, I think it might be even more, like, fair game than Megas. Because at least with Megas XLR, you can buy seasons or even individual episodes from iTunes. Not with this show. I think. I'm actually going to look. Are 
you able to to hold it? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. Hold. Okay. All right. Okay. Hold the hold the fucking phone. All right. So you can't buy this from any like unless it's like you know the DVD. Why is the first listing on Amazon the DVD seventy six forty one USD? What? <laughs> Why? I also have to mention Disney because Disney will kill you no matter what. You would think that. It's not even like they have scrubbed all reference to Buzz Lightyear of Star Command everywhere. Like, even, even in Disneyland where you will see a Buzz Lightyear and like his space friends on the Buzz Lightyear ride... They'll use a character who looks similar to the, to the, to the fucking, the, the fucking Nebula, whatever her name is from Buzz Lightyear Star Command, but it's not the same. It's not the same lady. Oh, it's different. It's like they've made sure that this is not at all <laughs> happening. I will, just like with Megas, I will do a test stream like, uh, unlisted, comes out of nowhere, first episode, maybe two, to see if, uh, you, if YouTube will fuck me. They didn't for Megas. They haven't done it once for Megas. But they did do it for that one time. I looked at a eight minute Men in Black clip, <laughs> and it was, it's a clip that's on YouTube, and it's like, no, you can't watch that. <laughs> But on uh, in, <laughs> in the in the YouTube Creator Studio thing, it said that apparently it was a clip from Men in Black Two. Oi! <laughs> Copyright is fuck. Anyway, no more waiting. Let us begin with the last. The last episodes. How many are left, actually, before we get started? There are seven episodes left. So. Anyway. Let us go. My soul rises as Salus burns, and alas, what a pity, no S-Force to come to the rescue. <laughs> I love Maurice LaMarche. I think? I think that's him. You'll never get away with this villainy, Zarek. Yeah! Oh, but you see, I already have. Your world is mine, and as soon as I find your Zorps and that little freak Jax, the universe you fought so hard to protect will be mine as well. <laughs> yes, Jax. It seems our mission has failed. The S Force is, is beaten. Under no circumstances will I agree to that. <laughs> I would rather have Zarek win than ask for his help. Uh, you're right, Jax. He is our only hope. Uh, huh? I don't remember. The hologram is not uh, Maurice Lamarche. It's actually Frank Welker. I'm actually gonna look. I'm looking right now on the to find the voice actors page. I hope he's here. I'm here. Oh, oh, you're here right on time. Yeah. All right. So how many episodes are left? The seven, including this one. Nice.
there, there was a. Th this is another S Force one, uh, and I'm trying to figure out where is the fucking nice. the villain in this behind the voice actors page because he sounds familiar, and I want to find him. He shows up. Oh, that's Jeff Bennett. Okay, that's who it was. That makes more sense. Hey. I, I'm. <laughs> oh, we just started, and you, and already. Hot redhead, tan girl feet. <laughs> you know, hey. <laughs> you know, you know. I at least trust you to point it out than some other freak. Oh, God, no. There's somebody in the uh, ESA server uh, that is like, he will not shut the fuck up about feet. Yeah. I've known him for years. This is just who he is. Yeah. It's like he's not he's not a horny person until the feet show up. Yeah, it's, it's why I say I, I trust you more than some other freak. <laughs> I hope you were right. The beach is a great place to clear your head. Yep, Mother Nature at her finest. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's just, God. Oh, this this is so true to life. This isn't more relevant than it's ever been. It's always been relevant. Things it's, haven't changed. Yeah, from 2004 to now, it's the exact same. What the? So, who's up for some banana splits? Oh, great. It's that Dork Force freak. Hey, Jax. Wanna go get a banana split or what? <laughs> uh, is that a yes? <laughs> Cyrus has been invaded. The people enslaved. Our defenses crushed. And the S-Force are now prisoners of the evil tyrant, Zarek. The space dorks are in trouble? Although I love to ask for it. We need your... help to rescue S-Force and save Saris. Coop, we have to help them. I'm sure they're okay. They're like space ninjas or something. No way. They <laughs> might be a bunch of doofy-looking alien nerds, but they're still my friends. Let's kick this Zanzor's butt. Zarek. Yeah. Him too. No, Zanzor was <laughs> from one of the last few episodes. I love that gear shift to space. So, what's the plan? It is Coop's a Coop's a good guy. He's a good dude. Like this this fucking weirdo who can't speak intelligible winds up on his car hood it's while they're like, hey, relaxing. You want to come get some ice cream, bro? Yeah, and he's like, and they're like, oh man, I don't know if we should help. He's like, no, we should. Like they're weird, but like they're our friends. <laughs> It was your very training that left them in such a weakened state. <laughs> oh my god, they're singing karaoke to uh, the fucking the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk about me much? <laughs> I'm not picking up the S Force's bio signatures anywhere. Zarek must have set up a jamming station. Or they may already be dead. Jeez, nice attitude. 
They could be anywhere. Sara City might be a good bet. Sara City? How do you know? We've never been here before. <laughs> oh no. Attendance mandatory. That's on the other you have side to. Of the planet. We can't possibly get there in time. If you don't attend, you're next. Be there or perish. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? That's uh, Jeff Bennett. That's yeah, cool. okay, yeah. You know what this voice is exactly? It is exactly the fucking the Broccoloids from Powerpuff Girls. God. It's the exact same voice. That's a, that's a hole, yeah. Yeah. Come on, team. We've been in tougher spots before. Don't let a little gateway to another dimension wipe that smile off your faces. Oh, by all means, keep smiling. The Infinity Zone will tear that smile from your face as the multiverse closes in and crushes you for 1,000 years until you are the size of an atom. One hideous little atom. <laughs> Why, you? My dear Duchess, you should save your energy so you can enjoy the pain. <laughs> now, which one of you wants to die first? I'm the leader. I'll go. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> it's cool. Who? I knew you wouldn't let us down, Jax. <laughs> Look out, Coop. And I was worried this was going to be too easy. Come on! Yeah, he did it. A new, a new animation for that. Notice Coop's improvisational fighting technique. <laughs> Who is this robotic monstrosity that interferes with my execution of the S-Force? Cool. That's who. And Janie. I'm part of the robotic monstrosity, too. I helped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're passing by my place. All right, cool. I forgot about you. Forgot? <laughs> Thank you for the time, <laughs> Coop. Uh, no biggie. I could have defeated this big-eared chub with my eyes closed. Huh? See? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> Your S-Force and the Blue Buffoon are no more. This planet, this universe, shall be mine forever! <laughs> Kneel before Zarek! Impossible. No one can escape the force of the Infinity Zone. So the main idea is to lock Azrael away in this alternate dimension that he can't break out of as a form uh -huh. of prison. Correct. He broke out of it. 
<laughs> literally the exact same thing. Yep. <laughs> Uh, oh, man. <laughs> it's funny because like in both situations like it's bullshit that like lets them break out hey it's a good thing no one told me that huh <laughs> Sorry, Duchess, we just saved you twice i think you owe me a date i would prefer the horrors of the infinity zone coop get us back to our zorps together we may stand a fighting chance at defeating zarek you got it enough of this Send down the Star Serpent. Put on some poundage since the last time we met? <laughs> you betcha. Coop, hurry up. Targon, give Coop the Zorp coordinates. Set destination for 260 degrees longitude, 022 degrees latitude. Got it. No, Coop, the other way. I know. Just the... Uh... Longitude on this planet is a little different. I I'll keep you guys covered. Shall turn the tide on that fiend Zarek. We've got company. Let's see how this guy likes super destructor mode. You heard him, kids. Super okay. destructor mode. What did mode. that say? <laughs> what did that say? You heard it, kids. Super destructor mode. <laughs> I bring you a gift. A quick and painful end to your miserable lives. <laughs> and here's a gift for you, you pointy-eared chump. In fact, here's a whole bunch of gifts, because I'm such a nice guy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> reuse that animation. That, that, that lasted a while. There yeah. There might be a few kinks to work out with Super Destructor Mode. Kinks? Engines ready. Gyro system activated. Thruster online. X-Force ready. X-Force flow. <laughs> no! What did I do? Coop. X-Force. Duchess. I have not joined them in the darkness that is death. <laughs> nah, that's just fire. It's fine. you do that to me? I was just getting somewhere with Duchess. No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> Super ultra dimensional. Rip Robotoid powers are. That's impossible. Nothing could have survived that blast. Good thing no one told us that. <laughs> nice. Okay, you cape wearing space freak. You interrupted my quality beach time, locked up a planet load of people, and you made me nearly destroy the S Force. Again. Now it's time to party. Tag team style. Let's do it, S Force. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, S-Force, finish these bots up. I'm gonna defang me a bad guy. Rock on! There it is. Break him, break him, break him, break him, stick that sword into that snake. <laughs> you stay out of this. Fudge, fudge, he's a good one. Great. <laughs> okay. Zadar, Zadar, he's the man. <laughs> You're going to prison forever, Zarek. Oh, I'll be back, you inconsequential fools. Just try it. We'll be waiting. To kick your butt. Again. <laughs> Take them away. will forever stand as a monument as to why the galaxy needs heroes. Yes, heroes like the S-Force. And why we need allies like Coop. Well, it's like I always say, a friend in need is a... Uh, how's the rest of that go? <laughs> <laughs> doesn't stop. <laughs> well, at least you guys are starting with a clean slate. Uh, how about them banana splits? <laughs> they're so good when they're cold and who's down? Huh? You want some? I'm hungry. I love that the it's the reaction is like yeah, this isn't like Jersey. It doesn't just magically get better. This is an alien planet. <laughs> also, uh, man, I, I, I watched this episode and I'm like, oh, you're telling me this show ran out of money at some point? I couldn't tell. It's, it's like, it's a good episode, but man, 
is it obvious where they're like, all right, we gotta we gotta budget this out correctly. We gotta hold on these shots for like a, a second or two longer. We gotta slide these JPEGs around and add special effects. They won't notice that we reuse those clips of animation in a row. No, they super won't. They won't notice. But you know, uh, like I said, it's still good. Um, did you watch the uh, new uh, DBZ Bridge commentary? Yeah, I, I watched most of it. History of Trunks, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, uh -huh. I was perusing the comment section of that video, and there was something very interesting that I found in there that I did not know. Uh -huh. um, uh, it was from uh, DBZ Kakarot, apparently. Oh, yeah. uh, it says here, it says here, that the uh, DBZ Kakarot Trunks DLC actually did some cool things regarding Chi Chi and Trunks. Now, if you don't know, in the future Trunks timeline, it's as horrible as it ever gets for Chi Chi, you know? Uh -huh. You know, her husband's dead, her son won't talk to her, and, and like she just lives with her with her dad, and like they're both, she's a widow, and she's like, she's like, I want my husband back, it's you know? Not, it's really just not bad. a good time to be Chi Chi. Not a good time. It's not a good time. But the DBZ Kakarot Trunks DLC, um, specified that after that, that Chi Chi actually uh perked up quite a bit after Trunks defeated the androids in that timeline and states that because her son virtually shaped who Trunks is now that Trunks is more like a son to her like she still has Trunks after all of this it brings a goddamn tear to my eye very good I think that's really cool like that's nice so they, they went out of their way to say that I, I don't know that, I think that's neat I think it's what's really cool about the Trunks DLC is that you even get to play. Hold on, I'm eating some a little bit. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, there's a bit that they talked about in Dragon Ball Super where future Trunks comes from a time where they didn't even have to worry about Majin Buu because Trunks totally took care of that. Yeah. And uh, you play through that. It is. It is very quick, this confrontation. I mean, sure, uh, it's a hard fight, but, and also, the Supreme Kai fucking dies at the end of it, but it is very quick. You beat up Tabura, you kill him and Bobbity at the same time. Ooh. -hoo. Yeah. So, like, Majin, Majin, Buu, Buu's, Majin never Buu's never up. even a thing. So he never wakes up. Okay, I like that. Yeah. Go, uh, Trunks is... A big time pra pra uh, pragmatist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like it. Also, someone else in a different video. Um, let me see if I can find the clip. Um, uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, <laughs> some two different people pointed this one out. Um, they like the idea. Um, they like the idea that um, the timeline in which uh, you know Future Trunks is talking to Bulma while she's making the time machine. Like, you know, Bulma, once that time machine's done, I'll go back to the past and save my save Goku and my father. And you hear like the the Vegeta scream uh -huh. from when he was on yeah, Namek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're ca they're head canoning that since they don't do that in this movie in the history of Trunks, they're head canoning that the Trunks that says that is the one from the original Cell timeline. Yeah. The one that kills Trunks and takes the time machine. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the worst timeline. Yeah. <laughs> Saves the day, but only for a little bit. Yeah, only for a minute. You get one. <laughs> um, it says here, the fact that Goku or any of his friends aren't using King Kai to speak to their family and friends in this timeline is just so messed up. Now I can understand why Bulma was upset when Yamcha finally did it. Yeah. <laughs> For real. <laughs> like, geez, Goku, talk to your wife for a minute. <laughs> anyway, right. uh, we're, this this little aside is just propaganda to say, hey, you should play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. It's honestly, it's on its way to becoming the definitive, like, Dragon Ball Z story experience in a video game. 
because like yeah. there, because there is so much DLC that's like th- that's good. First of all, and second, that like covers Z Super, and now they're going backwards with Dragon Ball because they're doing the the last uh, World Tournament, the one with uh, Piccolo Junior. Yeah. And and they're doing a thing that I I adore. It is like a very cute, like you know, makes sense that they would do this type of thing. Uh, you <laughs> you you look at the trailer, you look at the fights. What's the damage numbers? Oh, they're double digit or even like low triple digits. Oh, because it is it's because oh. it's like an action RPG where like the numbers reach like ludicrous hundreds of thousands. But now oh, this so back like, there, it's like it's scaled down. Yeah, it's just they scaled down everyone's HP and also the damage that they do. I like that. That that's cute. I like that. It's also very it's also very literally grounded. No one's like flying all over the place like it like they are in DBZ. Like they did fly a little bit in Dragon Ball original, but it was very rare that they did that. Uh huh. Because it because it was hard to to fly. It was hard to like learn to yeah. fly. Yeah, it's 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 yeah, it's it's difficult. Like uh, it was just sort of a thing everybody got to because like that's just, that's just the thing about flight as a superpower. No matter what fiction it's in, once uh, one person can do it, it becomes easier to do it. Like to just dole it out, you know. Uh-huh. Like flight has to be one of the most common superpowers. Yep. Anyway, uh, next episode. Uh, I bet you can't guess what anime is referenced in this one. enough great idea coop hey how was i supposed to know it was full of giant alien monsters isn't it always <laughs> yeah that is a good point hydraulic transfer systems are overloading oh man i knew i should have gotten an oil change before we left incoming don't worry, I got this. Uh, maybe I don't. Oh man, could it get any worse? ship with a giant skull on it. That's definitely worse. <laughs> Saving Grace. I'm gonna double check what the name of the ship... Wait, no, I already know what it's called. <laughs> the, the name of the ship is the name of the anime. <laughs> I don't need to <laughs> check it. <laughs> 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 oh man, anyway, no, you'll find out exactly what, what, what anime is being referenced. It, 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 it's a very subtle reference, but I want to see if you can catch it. an hour ago <laughs> hey it's like that cheesy pirate ride only these guys ain't a bunch of puppets 
And they got real guns. Such an unusual mech. I think this booty may bring in a very healthy price. What about the crew? They landed on SETI Beta 5 and engaged the Hlorgnut with only one mech. Pilot is either very brave or supremely stupid. Ah, uh, we come in peace? Oh, hold that thought. I see it as the latter. Salvage the mech, eliminate the crew. Whoa! Coop, get back inside! Stand down! Holster your weapons. My name is Warlock. Captain Jean-Michel Warlock. Can you guess what it is? It's a very subtle reference! Could not possibly tell you. <laughs> For those who actually don't know, uh, literally, they just plucked this guy and just put him in here. Captain Harlock. And they just changed one letter in his name. It's the most blatant one ever. It's the, most, it's the most stolen. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I actually don't. So I thought, okay, all right. Because I was like, yeah, you know, there's Captain Harlock and his ship, the space battleship Yamato. That's not his ship. <laughs> That's a completely <laughs> different space opera series. No. <laughs> No, uh, oh. Harlock's ship is called the Arcadia, which is still not referenced. However, it kind of is, considering on the front of it is a big skull and crossbones, because you know, uh, space pirate. Yeah. So, you know, close enough, close enough of a reference to, to this <laughs> one, the saving grace. Welcome aboard the saving grace. <laughs> <laughs> In all my travels, I have never seen anything more beautiful. Uh, thanks, I guess. Dude, he's talking about Magus. Actually, I was referring to the red-headed enchantress. Kiva? Not again. Redheads. Very brutal. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Please forgive my lack of manners. There are all kinds of vermin in this part of the universe, and one can't be too cautious. I know what you mean. Thanks for the save back there. Hmm. Engaging the Hlorgnut isn't overly wise. Only one man has been able to defeat a single Hlorgnut, let alone a hundred. And that man was me. Well, it wasn't really my fault. Okay, Coop. Just back us out of here quietly. Quietly. Gotcha. <laughs> I guess they ain't got no appreciation for custom horns. Not many people do. Well, as long as we're cloaked, we won't have to worry about them. Come. You are now my guests. I wonder if the cloaking device is going to go off at some point. I could use a cheesesteak or two. Oh, and some oil for Magus. I'll have my men show you the way. Rock on. Perhaps you would like to join me for a tour of the ship. <laughs> Thank you for the offer, but I think I'll just help Coop fix Magus. I've been told our storage hangar is quite impressive. Something there might be of use for your repairs. I don't suppose you have a time drive controller lying around. You're welcome to it if it but puts a smile on your exquisite face. You have a time drive controller? Please, 
Allow me the pleasure of showing you the way personally. Go ahead. We'll be fine. Okay, but just get that oil and try not to get into trouble. Shh. What kind of trouble can we get into around here? Hello, so Blinky where can I get a hand Welcome like to that. the stream. My dear, you'll find my ship stocked with anything you could imagine. I always get everything I want. So is the oil you guys got synthetic and turbo rated? I'm pretty picky with my oil. Uh-oh, he's got something. Galand and still. Hmm. Billy cheesesteak. Wrapped in bacon. And deep fried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Vampire cheerleader. <laughs> Regular cheerleader? Yo, uh, this thing's busted. Your collection is very impressive. I have sailed across the stars time and again. In my journeys, I've stumbled across many treasures. But none like you. Oh, uh, well, I... Uh... This way. I believe that ship there has what you're looking for. And what of your adventures? I must admit that I find myself perplexed by the crew you keep. Coop and Jamie? You get used to them. Kind of. I wonder how they're doing on that oil. Okay. Now, back in Jersey, we call this an eating contest. The goal is to see who can eat the most without passing out. But I gotta warn ya, I'm the all Jersey hot dog eating champion. This planet Jersey must be a harsh and wretched place. <laughs> what I mean, it's not wrong. Yeah, well, mom pulled my allowance for wrecking the house. Again. And I'll raise you five games. Done! <laughs> <laughs> Solid gold? Goth chicks? <laughs> A donut? Goth chicks multiple. Hello, CG. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I'm never going to get over the wind sound effect. <laughs> Kira, you should stay here with me. Your skills and beauty are being wasted on those two fools. I love I love how I love how there is zero chemistry. None. Very kind, but my place is with Magus. And for <laughs> all or worse, one -sided. That means my place is with Coop and Jamie. What do those buffoons offer you that I can't? Well, along with your kind offer of the time drive controller, those buffoons are going to help me save the Earth from an alien invasion. Or at least Coop will. Ah, yes. The time drive controller. I'm afraid I've misled you, my dear. There is no time drive controller. Coop, I hope you fixed Magus. Hey, come on, guys. I told you I was good. No normal man could eat like that. We don't <laughs> honor cheaters around here. Unless it's us that's cheating. And then it's okay. <laughs> Don't bother, my dear. No one has ever been able to escape me. You and your pitiful robot are mine. It will be better for everyone if you just come quietly. That's not one of my strong suits.
Oh my god, he captured the entire Wink Club. God. Hold on a sec. <laughs> I... Okay, I was... That last um, one's a guy. Yeah, that's just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... E e e e yeah, either a, a guy or a very square-jawed woman, in which case, uh, either, either case, uh, good for right. him. But yeah, still, uh, <laughs> all <laughs> redheads. Check it out, it's Kiva. About time. My arms are killing me. Ready to surrender? Your confidence makes you all the more desirable. What's with this guy? I don't know. Hey, Kiva, we're over here. You can save us now. Now, let them go. <laughs> your fire is complimented by your charming naivete. Do you really think I would honor my wager if it meant losing you? Ho, ho, ho. You guys are in trouble now. Yeah, kick some butt, Kiva. What? Pfft, look at that. Just gives up. I could have taken this whole place on with one arm tied behind my back. Please, let my friend leave safely. And I'll stay without any objection. Huh? Uh, anything for my queen. Oh. <laughs> hey, watch the upholstery, pal. Man, they got Kiva. At least we're back in Magus. Yeah, but we didn't get any oil for the engine. Oh, yeah. Bummer. <laughs> Shadowrun, we don't have Justin. He's not here today. Also, he says, hey, y'all, Shadow Flop. <laughs> <laughs> hey all Scott here. Uh, the Shadow Flop era continued uh, after losing third place in a Soul Cal 6 tournament. So how's things? Who'd you play? Yeah, that's a good question. Who did you play? I don't mean the player. I meant what character did you choose? Yeah. Because, like, if you picked, like, 2B and you lost, then, like, what the fuck are you doing? You, land, you let humanity down. If you played 2B, the game was almost handed to you, unless you played someone else who played 2B. I don't, wait, I don't get it. Do you think 2B is like mega top tier or something? I, uh, I think. I don't know. You to let I mean, she's go. good, yeah. Yes, really good. I promised I let them go. The rest is up to them. <laughs> Played 2B and Amy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come now. There is a very good chance they'll survive the impact. Of course, they'll be in no shape to fight off the Thorg Nut if they do. You're so predictable. Oh, and about our deal? 
I lied too. That was your last mistake. Find her! Hurry up! I've got too many things going for me to die like this. Like what? I don't know. But I do. <laughs> Man, all I needed was some oil. Wait. Where'd you get that? <laughs> he didn't even. Oh, no, never mind. Three more cheesesteaks with fries. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> None good enough. Plenty. More than enough. And no, really, I'm fine. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop is really funny. You're going to have to do better than that. Amazing together. The stars are kingdom. Now, I just want to see you die. But how? Kiva, duck and cover. He wouldn't. You don't know Coop. <laughs> Stay with this guy? Chicks will do anything for a guy with fancy threads and a big ship. All squadrons, attack! Drive this imbecile into the void. Let's talk about this later. Just get us out of here. I like that. It's like a little force field. It's not like a <laughs> blast shield like in other things. Yeah. I give you one last chance. Stay with me and forget about these fools. All right, you arrogant, <laughs> overblown thief. You tried to break up our team. You almost killed Coop and Jamie, and you made me listen to your endless cheesy pickup lines. Nice, cheesy. <laughs> nice. <Get him>, Coop. <laughs> <laughs> That big, cool, giant energy sword thing. Man, I gotta watch again. I gotta rewatch the fucking crazy 88 scene from Kill Bill 1. Yeah, yeah. it's a good one. Because when I think big multi-person sword fight, that's the first thing that, go that comes to mind. Ah, Kill Bill 1's so good. They both are. Yeah. Fools. Your machine is no match for the saving grace. Open fire! Coop, we can't take another hit like that. Don't worry, I got just the thing to even the odds. The equalizer. <laughs> Good job evening those odds. It's just stuck. Enough? 
Cloak the ship. We'll let those beasts do our work for us. Great. We get eaten alive and Captain Lamo gets to watch. Wanna bet? <laughs> exactly the same button we just pressed a few seconds ago. <laughs> Kiva will be my queen. Hey, you should have no problem with those things. Right, Warlock? Only one man has been able to defeat a single Lorgnot, let alone a hundred. And that man was me. Oh, nice one, Kiva. Kiva! So you said you'd stay just so we could get back to Magus and rescue you? The only chance any of us had was if Coop got to Magus. But it was busted. How'd you know I'd be able to fix it? I just hoped you would. That's a dangerous way of thinking. Ah, uh, sweet <laughs> Kiva. You are looking very oh my God. enchanting this <laughs> <evening>. <laughs> Boat, are you okay? Much better now, my dear. <laughs> the guy said you dig all this fancy pants pirate stuff. <laughs> At least he's better than Warlock. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Well, maybe not. <laughs> 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 all right hey let's play a quick game for the next episode because i'm actually gonna step out for a minute because i do need to i need to bathe i was i was gonna do it before the stream started but there was a, a tiny little thunderstorm and i do not feel comfortable showering during thunderstorms oh you know? cool no i get it all right, so let's play a little thing. Okay, so tell you what, tell you, I, I'll let's play a game. I'll tell you, you you name a fighting game, name mm -hmm. a fighting game, any uh -huh. number of fighting games you want, and I'll tell you who I play in that game. You got it. All right, Shadow Realm, you can get on this too. Anyone in chat, anyone you can get in on this. I'll tell you. Who has ever played a fighting game and knows the ones that I am about to say with my mouth words, uh, go ahead and do it. Play All right. Game. All right, who you got for me first? What what game? Dragon Ball Z Budokai Three. Not Tenkaichi Three, but not Budokai Tenkaichi. 3. No, the two D one. I only ever played Tenkaichi Three, uh -huh. like yeah. long enough to have a main. You know, mm -hmm. I played Tenkaichi Three once casually, yeah. and I do not remember who I played. Bad start. <laughs> uh, the the funny thing is that like. You very easily could just learn one character and then more or less have learned them all because they kind of do play very similarly. That's why people don't typically like a whole lot of them. But the problem, no, but like it's, <laughs> it's good though. It's a good game. It's, it, it's when you, th if you want balanced DBZ, you play that. But most people don't want balanced DBZ. No, 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 cheese. People don't want balanced fighting games. Or like they don't want games that have a, a focus on balance because then you get Street Fighter Five. Yeah, but that's the bad one. Budokai Three is a good one. <laughs> All right, it's I'll I'll, I'll, tell, you, I'll, I'll tell you who I play in Budokai Tenkaichi Three. It, yeah, hit me. Um, serious character I play. Um, I played, uh, let's see, who was it? Who was it? I remember the joke character I played. Or not joke character, but like, you know, mean character I played. Uh -huh. um, I played, uh, I played Chi-Chi. Yeah. Like tiny girl Chi-Chi, yeah. Uh -huh. As far as serious characters go, I think I played Piccolo? 
Mm. Yeah, I played Piccolo, yeah. Alright. Um, let's see, chat says, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Um, he, he, I has, play, he, has a, he has a number of like really big ones, big big um, mains. Well, the thing is, I I spent all my time in Smash playing, trying to get everybody in Elite Smash, and I did. Uh -huh. And I so I kind of roamed around the whole cast. But like as far as who I would play in a tournament, um, let's see, Bowser is my big main. Yeah, Bowser and Terry, I think, are the two guys I played in tournament the most. Look, I look, love those two. Look for him at whatever tournament that he's in uh playing as Tycho RC. Yes. Um also as far as like a mean character they used to play, I always used to play the me brawler as and, and I had that one me costume where I just I I made him a uh, repair man. Oh god, repair I man remember man repair man. All that. <laughs> um let's see. Um I also really liked uh I liked Banjo. Mm -hmm. I liked Sonic. I liked Ike. Uh, I liked um, uh, Link. I like uh, when you when you want to fuck with like, people, you play Rob. I like yeah, I Rob. I, I played Rob for a long time. I think Rob was more of a street, uh, more of a Smash Brothers four main of mine. But I did play Rob quite a while in Ultimate too. Mm -hmm. I also played Wii Fit Trainer a lot. Um. Oh, and K rule, K rule, yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Mario RPG is not a fighting that's, game. It's not a fighting game. No, I think they. I appreciate I think the mock, but it is. I think they just think we're. Uh, they were just like brought up a game as jokes. Uh, correct. Okay. If you I, are good with Rob, it's an absolute nightmare to deal with. That yes. is that is correct. You you're not playing Smash Brothers. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna throw you a two for. They're they're similar games, but one is many years uh, older Tekken tag and tag two i never played much of tag one okay. but i did play tech, but i did play tech and tag two yes and uh my main teams i played four characters in that game and they were all kind of interchangeable um as far as like who i'd put on a team but my four characters were um it was king Whoa. brian uh-huh Anna, yeah, and I toyed a little bit with Lily, Ooh. but mostly the first three. CG in chat says Street Fighter Four. Street uh, Fighter let, Four. Let's, um, let's have some fun and say vanilla. I never played like the first version of Street Fighter Four that I bought was Super. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was super. Um, so, you know, that's right when Jury came on. That's when I started playing, you know. Um, right, then let's say that then. My main characters in Street Fighter 4 were Honda, mm -hmm. Hugo, when you get to Ultra Street Fighter 4, um, Hakan, and... Who was the last character I played quite a bit? Oh, yeah, it was another Ultra character. I played Poison a lot. Ooh. Oh, yeah, no, no, fucking. Uh, there's a character I played in Street Fighter 4 that won me a tournament once. It oh. was uh, it was Bison. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Marvel versus Capcom says one. Or there, Marvel say one. one! You know, like... Marvel, oh, I mean, I'll do all of them. I'll yeah. do all of them. Okay. Um, because uh, I've played all of them. Here we go. Marvel 1. My mains were uh, Gambit and Venom. Oh, yeah. And uh, Marvel 2. My main team was uh, Colossus, Juggernaut, Thanos. Oh. Big boy team. Um, and in Marvel 3, my team was very different. My team was Ghost Rider, Dormammu, Doctor Strange. Oh, that's pretty good. And uh, for the brief time I played Marvel Infinite for a tournament, I ran Ghost Rider Doctor Strange. Oh. Yeah. Lightning. Vanquish my enemy. You know, it's funny. Uh, talking about Doctor Doom. Uh, I talked about how uh, 
yesterday on stream when I was like fucking around. I was like, what do I do after Tales of Arise? It's only been an hour. Uh, I played a little bit of Marvel 3 and the game crashed twice trying to load in uh, Ghost uh, Scorpion Ghost Rider. Uh, Aww. Yeah, twice because it's like, all right, let's try it again. And it gave it to me again in uh, <laughs> in arcade mode. But last night like for fun i was like all right let's let's do it again uh if i get ghost rider uh, scorpion again i'm gonna actually remove him from the game i'll dead ass just like uninstall the game and just reinstall and just take him out uh it did, not, it did not happen but i did get cell over dr doom and i didn't know that the cell over dr doom gives you his voice lines too <laughs> <laughs> oh really yeah i was cool. very i think it's from uh it's from fighters i didn't hear uh enjoy oblivion but i heard some other things uh and it was very fun anyway what about your fighters history main fighters history now that's a game that i never got to play it's a game i've always been interested in that and karnov's revenge it's oh. like i never got to play either one but i like where your mind's at Pulling out some of the more obscure ones. I like it. I got another obscure one after him. But what you got? Go. Oh, no, that's right. You haven't played it. So you, yeah, you I haven't know. played it. Yeah. All right. Uh, Evil Zone. Oh, fuck you. I've never played Evil Zone. Actually, oh. no, I played it once because uh -huh. my friend forced me to play it. Oh, cool. I do not remember who I played. All right. <laughs> Actually, no, I didn't play it. He, I was just watching my friend play because he loves Evil Zone, and I'm like, "This game is dog shit," and he said, "Yeah, it is." Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Evil. <laughs> wait, wait. Do you play Fighters History or Evil Zone? No, uh, CG in chat says, "Okay, yeah, that's a good question, actually." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm watching CG in chat. I'm watching chat. So if you have one, go ahead and name it. Go ahead trying to think of like another uh what's evil zone okay so yeah, yeah he, okay, he okay. Plays never mind, never mind. don't, don't, worry, don't worry about evil zone it is a uh interesting playstation one fighter uh it is notable for having one button gameplay with a it's kind of an asterisk after the one button but you know one no you put the you put the asterisk on gameplay okay <laughs> No, I mean because like it's not just one button. You also in, in incorporate the the D pad, so it's technically not one button, but 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 it is one button though. I said I don't play. I said I haven't played Fighter Sister. No, he's Any saying that way. that's what he plays. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. You know what? I'll I'll th I'll throw a Kusoge at you. What about the Arxis Fist of the North Star game? Uh. I have not played that game long enough to have a main. I more just watch people be insane at that game. Okay, yeah. Because that game requires a level of dedication I'm not ready for. Yeah. It's... People who play that game don't play anything else. It's like uh, Tekken, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it... <laughs> Some people would call it the first Kusoge. <laughs> For those who don't know, Kusoge is uh, kind of a derogatory term meaning shit game, but literally Kuso Ooh. Kuso game Kuso Ooh. shit game. But oh oh, I okay. like this. I all like right, this. All right, Pokin give, give tournament. us a Pokin Pokin tournament. Uh, two characters. I play two characters in Pokin. I play Machamp and I play Blaziken. Yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those are my boys. <laughs> Uh, uh guilty gear um it just says guilty gear no nothing else okay so i've only really put time into exard and strive um in strive i play potemkin and faust mm -hmm. and in uh exard i i just play faust yeah you do strike me as a as a faust player you you, you either play characters that are like cool and like take some dedication to be good with or you play some silly boys yeah i i do you're correct uh, uh king of fight king okay of fight. oh that's which a that is one? a broad topic which one yeah because i haven't played all of them but there's quite a few that i've played uh -huh. i guess I, i'll guess i'll just go over the ones i've played here we go uh 
King of Fighters 98. I, I played quite a few characters in that one, but my favorite team um, has um, Terry. It has Krauser. This is uh, Ultimate Edition, by the way, not 98 Vanilla. 98 Vanilla, Krauser's not in it. Um, 98 Ultimate, it's Terry, it's Krauser, and I play... Uh, my fourth character is usually... Or my third character is usually... Uh, I don't play Andy in 98, do I? It's been a minute since I've played 98. Uh, I wish I could be good with Chizuru, but I'm not. Chizuru is a hard character to play in that game. Chizuru, um, is, Chizuru is probably uh, your big waifu character that's also the hardest to play out of all the... So I play the waifu, waifu, so I play the waifu character that I do know how to play, that I can play. Uh, yeah, it's my. Yeah. Um... Fun fact about 98, it is the only King of Fighters game that I refuse to play Athena in. Oh, oh that's right. She, like... has, she has like a not great look. No, no, it's because Psycho Ball is the worst in that game than it's ever been. Oh, no. It's, wor it's worse in 98 than it's ever been in any other game. Oh, it's no. to the point where I cannot play that character. Oh, and then that's like her signature move. You, yeah, but like that's the reason a lot of people hate Athena because it's like she's like, ah, thank you. And like I think most of the time it's hyperbole. In 98, though, I totally get it. <laughs> Athena's channeling fucking Marvel 3 Beautiful Joe many decades before he shows up. In other games, it's fine. In other games, she's completely fine. Psycho Ball's fine. Whatever. It's nowhere near as grating. But, like, in that game, yeah, I, I can't do it. It's fucking just, like, it's her own version of Boomerang. I don't mind Boomerang. That's oh, way bad. No. I, I, I wish it was Boomerang, you know? Oh, no. Uh, let me see. Is there anyone else that I'm missing that I know that I play? Uh, pretty much, I guess, just my... Terry and uh, Krauser. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, those are the guys in 98. And uh, 2000, I play... Um, I also play Terry and Mai, but I don't play Athena in that game either, mostly because uh, the only Athena look I like in that era was 99, and I didn't play 99 that much. Uh, the last character I played in 2000 was, I believe... Uh, I, I think I, I think I toyed around a bit with Seth. Hmm. You do like uh, Seth? Yeah, Seth's neat. Um, I didn't. I, I I need to play more 2002 Unlimited because I haven't really had a chance to make a team. But the last time I played it, I played Terry, Ralph, and Hyder. Uh, King of Fighters eleven. Uh, I play Terry. I play um. My and Athena. And that's also who I played in King of Fighters 13. King of Fighters 14, my mains were um, Terry, Athena, and Antonov. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, unfortunately, I haven't played 15 because the Saudis happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh all right, uh, CG has S Street Fighter 2. Street Fighter 2, I didn't... I Street Fighter 2 is one of the ones I don't like. Oh. I mean, like, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's bad. I just, it's just not for me. Um, the few times that I have played it, I, I just sort of just played, I just sort of played Ryu and Ken. I didn't really think about that much. None of the, none of the other re-releases uh, helped nope. with making it better? I mean, it's just Street Fighter 2. I just don't care. Ah, okay. <laughs> It's just not for me. It's not for me. I'm not saying it's bad. It's just not for me. I like the other Street Fighter games. All right, but not two. It's just not for me. All right. I, okay, I got one shot in the dark. I don't even expect you to have a main. I just want to bring this up because I just thought of it, and I'm like, I have to say the words. Uh, Rakuga Kids. No idea. Oh, my God. <laughs> I expected that, but it still hit me. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, Rakuga Kids is uh, a fighting game, I think on the N64, where you play as uh, these drawings drawn by kids, uh, and you fight 
in a fighting game, the term Rakuga kids is a is a combination of Rakugaki, meaning doodle, and kids. Uh, CG says Mortal Kombat. Uh, I'll be honest, most of the Mortal Kombat games I don't like. Oh. The only one I actually stuck around long enough to have a main in was MKX, and my main in that game was Raiden. Mm. Um, I also played a bit of Aaron Black. I liked him. And I also liked Ferator in that game. But that's basically it. Everybody else I, I, I did play, I was just sort of messing around with. But yeah, those are my guys. Mostly Raiden, though. Man, Ferator totally went fucking nowhere. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> I mean, they sh they sure were also a nothing character. All right, one more. <sighs> For now, one more. One more. Injustice. All right. Okay. And see if I can Injustice. Um, Injustice 1, specifically, I played two characters. I played Batman, and I played Lobo. Oh. And Injustice 2, uh, not much changed. Actually, no, Injustice 1, I also played Bane. Um, Injustice 2, I also played Bane, and I also played Batman. I think the only other char I met, character I messed with a whole lot in Injustice 2 was Green Lantern. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. Scorpion? Scorpion's not bad in Injustice 1. Mm -hmm. It was really annoying on release, but then everyone, like, uh... Yeah, because not like not all the characters in that game had teleports, but yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead and play the next episode. I'm gonna be back. I'll I'll be back later. Yeah, you got it. Next episode, go. I order you to come up with a plan to defeat the Earthers once and for all, and you bring me this this toy. I know my plan lacks your usual subtlety, sir. But if you'll allow me to demonstrate... I have no interest in demonstrations, Commander. Only results! And you shall have them, Warmaster. The Earth shall be yours for the taking. <clears throat> what? I was going to say, hey, yo, how come he can kind of get it, though? I mean, he can. Not for me, but, like, I, <laughs> I can definitely uh, see someone being into big, bald, tentacle beard biker dude. <laughs> he can get it with someone, but not me. <laughs> no, I like my dudes more... Uh, Less biker. All right. Less bald. All hollow camouflage systems functioning normally. Mm. They look repulsive. Indeed, they are a repulsive species. Regardless, they shall soon be our slaves. I meant your slaves. This plan of yours had better succeed, Commander, or I'll have your jaw blocks. I have no patience for failure. Unless it's your own. What was that? Shall I set course for Earth, sir? Yes, bring us out of no space so I can finally finish off this wretched human race! <laughs> Jason Momoa, 50 years old. <laughs> That's a little rude, but I also think that's kind of funny. <laughs> Actually, 
I will actually uh, be right back. I'm going to grab something very quickly. All right, I'm back. What I miss? I did say very quickly. <laughs> Whoops. Eh, you wrecked worse. Instead of honing your combat skills, we're gonna listen to music? Trust me, this will help my combat skills. You ever been in a mosh pit? What's a mosh pit? You'll see. <laughs> Maybe I'll get floated over some hot chicks again. I wonder why I never get floated up on the crowd like you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey, Tiny! You ready to rock? Hey, Kiva. Ooh, dig the new look. Gonna save me a dance? So when's the music gonna start? Please tell me this isn't the music! Mosh Pit! Hey, yo, pick me up some of those nasty fake cheese nachos and stuff. Woo! Think we have enough? Yeah, but after we give this to Coop, we'll need to make another run for us. I thought we left the mosh pit. We did. Watch it! <laughs> Glitch, sir. Did you see Glorfed? You'd better hope we locate the target soon, Commander. I find it increasingly difficult to contain my natural urge to destroy these vile pink. We're closing in, sir. Any second. It's a fucking the predator gun. Jesus. <laughs> heavily armed glorfed who look just like humans you take care of them uh hold up oh gil what's the matter your plan has failed commander she hasn't gone far 
I'm back. What have you done while I was gone? Watched episodes, talked about fighting games for a little bit. Well, it's gonna turn out she's that fucking that predator girl from last time. You do you know who those men were or why they're after you? First off, who are you and why are you freak stalking me? Well, I'm Jamie and I'm like a big time <laughs> space hero. I've saved the earth like 12 times. What could the Glorved possibly want with you? Well, it looks as if my plan is coming together perfectly. Kiva! Gorath, even as a human, you're just as repulsive. Gorath? Oh man, how come every time I start getting somewhere with a chick, he shows up? <laughs> a family Clancy reunion. Brown? Yeah. How touchy. The, the show... Family. Oh, I know it. It's why. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm going back just a little bit because I was talking a little bit over it. Uh, yeah, no, this show is filled to bursting with like cool voice actor people. You got Clancy Brown, you got uh, Frank Welker in a bunch of places. Uh, I've talked about this a bunch of times. Uh, Coop is voiced by fucking Don DeLuise, the dad from Wizards of Waverly Place, among other things. Jamie here is uh, Steve Bloom. There's a bunch of people. Jeff Bennett was in an episode earlier. He's always cool. Oh man, how come every time I start getting somewhere with a chick, he shows up? A family reunion. How touching. Family? What are you talking about? Oh no. Once I destroy you, your descendants cease to exist. Oh, it is just a fucking... Terminator. But you're from the future. You don't have any family. If I'm never born, I can't steal the prototype and send it back to the past. And I'll never be sent to this primitive planet and be surrounded by all this human filth. <laughs> it's all over now. Earth is doomed. <laughs> I wonder how this will work. Will you just disappear? Or will it hurt? Wait, let me understand this. This hottie's related to Kiva? I never would have expected you to come up with such a clever plan, Gorath. Maybe I should get rid of you first to make sure you suffer. That would have been the smart thing to do. <laughs> Jamie, get the girl to Megas. Where'd she go? Jamie, stay with her and... Jamie? Jamie! Looks like your friends have deserted you. No problem. They were just slowing me down. Wasn't I supposed to get nachos? This is how you conquer worlds now, Gora? Attacking an innocent, unarmed girl? Yes. No! Sir, we're closing in on the girl. Hold her. I want to take her out myself. Just uh, looking for my friend with the giant robot. Uh, looks to me like you're hiding. Me? No way was I hiding. Cause it's not a bad idea. I was totally hiding. Gotcha! Ah! 
Upstairs. Always embarrassing. She is mine. No, she's not. It's the squid. Yo, what's up with that? Don't know. But they ain't messing up my party if me and Magus got anything to say about it. That is, as <laughs> soon as I can get to Magus. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Wait! A minor glitch! Come on! How am I gonna get to Megas? Whoa! <laughs> hey, yo, yeah. finally! Check me out! Uh, he's off with a nacho, dude! Nice! Rock on, Coop! But hurry up and get Megas. <laughs> <laughs> She ain't a snot green alien with a gun. Good point. <laughs> I tire of this game, Earthers. That girl and your future are history. Now! Nachos, and you bring me the Glorfed? We have to keep this girl safe, or the whole timeline may be compromised. Yeah, Kiva may never be born, and we may never get Magus. Uh, okay. You might want to strap in. Things tend to get a little bumpy when the green guys show up. Yeah, no kidding. to push face the losers you crash my concert stop me from getting fake cheese nachos and try wiping out this poor chick who ain't done nothing to you just so you can make kiva not be born and me not get my robot yeah uh, wait explain it to me again <laughs> that's their ah, forget it
anything you thick-headed Earthers understand is a brutal display of force. From now on, I do things my way. You mean the loser way? Goodbye, precious kneecaps. Continue to evade me, Arthur. But rest assured, it won't happen again. Yeah, heard it. Now get out of my town. See? Told you we'd get lots of combat practice. spent much time with my family in the future too busy fighting to save humanity something like that so if you want we could spend some time together are you crazy aliens giant robots you and your friends are freaks i'm going back to brooklyn where it's safe <laughs> thanks going back to brooklyn <laughs> So, Kiva, check it out. If me and Allie had gotten together, I could have been your great, 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 great grandfather or something. Ugh. Now that's an awful thought. Please, Jamie, this day's been disturbing enough. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, I think I got it. Gorath was trying to change the future by messing with the past, which is the present, right? So, the future. No. Wait, I don't understand. Okay. I think I got it. Don't worry about his plan, as long as we stopped it. Rock on. So, did you guys ever get those nachos or what? Oh. Ah, oh, that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Please, if you play fire, yeah. All right, we're almost 
almost there. Just four more episodes left. Yeah. Tried to mess with the present past so he could easily alter the future towards his own goals. And as a result, if he had changed it then, there would have been no chance of any kind in stopping him, leading to world domination. Uh, you know, yeah, that's the easy way to say it. Uh, explain it. Uh, my question is, would he have even existed? Would, would, would the would the various things that led to his birth even even happened? Because, hey, in case people don't know, the fact that you as a person are here is like a one in a million chance. So it's entirely possible if you change the past your future would be completely different. Yours. You specifically. Anyway. Jeez, have you played Fighter's History? No, I've heard of it, though. Who knows? Maybe maybe the Glorfed would have been good people. Anyway. Next! you to weld the fusion drive accelerator to the primary thrust drive i just figured we could get the training done in half the time that kind of makes sense drive accelerator is shorting out it's locked open we can't stop sure we can <laughs> stop eventually yeah by slamming into a planet hold on see that wasn't so bad was it Yes, it was. And that's worse. Oh. Invader, prepare to be destroyed. Oh. I miss the nice. This world is under my protection, Invader. Invaders? <laughs> like we'd want this ice cube. Hey, pal, we ain't invading nothing. I just had a little technical problem with my robot, and... My chrome! <laughs> so fall all Cerulean scum that would take this world with their foul touch! Okay, I tried to play nice, but now I gotta teach you a lesson! You? Teach me a lesson? taught him a lesson man i didn't even get to rip him in half well except for the thrust drive mega seems okay hey what are you talking about now i gotta pound out all these dents 
that mech was protecting. Uh, a bunch of space yeti looking dudes? We won't go down without a fight. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, Bigfoot. I ain't here to fight you guys. Then why have you done this? Done what? Destroyed our guardian. Uh, he was like that when we got here. Jamie, they saw us do it. Hey, that guy attacked me. The Sorellians will surely attack us now. The who will what? Well, old friend, it seems you've finally been beaten. Idealistic fool. You should have known this day would come. It's Jeff Bennett again, I think. Prepare my ship and assemble extraction squadrons. Finally, we'll be able to finish tearing that planet apart. Oh yeah, it is Jeff Bennett. All right, so break it down. What's That's going right. on here? Being machines, the Sorellians need water to maintain their internal cooling systems. But they are a selfish, wasteful breed. They ravage their own planet's ecosystems, depleting it entirely of hydration. Kind of like you and the big lug dispenser at the Speedy Mark coop. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the sign says unlimited free refills. <laughs> Our planet has enough ice to rehydrate Sorel for eons, so they began taking it from us. And that mech was the only thing stopping them. Yes. Well, then maybe you guys should build a better robot next time. We can't. That robot was the leader of the Sorelian invasion force. After realizing our plight, he switched sides and vowed to defend us from his own people. And we were safe. Until now. Hey, it attacked me. Okay, listen. Since we messed up your whole deal here, we'll stay and fix it. We will? <laughs> They're coming! Shelter. Oh, Ash is here. Hello. Hi. Coop, are you sure about this? Beating up one of them was kind of fun, but I mean taking on a whole space yeti attacking robotic army? If they couldn't beat that guardian dude... This would be an easy fight for Magus. Unless we can't get into Magus. I should have put in the antifreeze. Marker one in place. We don't have time for this. Man, I wish I had a de-icer right now. Initiate incision sequence. Uh, how's that for a de-icer? Yep. That's a pretty big de-icer. Coop! I'm trying! Coop! I'm trying! I got it! Whoa! 
Like, that's not even his fault, though. in big trouble now let's see how these chomps like dealing with the jersey boy can you even see don't need to i got a little thing called instinct maybe you should clear <laughs> the windows first yeah! can't just reuse the the old animation you gotta make new ones Instinct, huh? Maybe we should, uh, clear the windows first. What's this? A new guardian? I won't be stopped a second time. Destroy that... whatever it is. <laughs> See, you guys are in trouble now. I liked it better when we couldn't see. Well, it seems this new guardian is nothing of the sort. He's done more damage than we have. <laughs> Fourth marker reached. Final incision commencing. Prepare for extraction. I want this planet sectioned off and sitting in our holding base as soon as possible. Run while you can, Cryox. Soon, there will be nowhere left to run. <laughs> no! Fucking shockwave with one eye. Kinda, yeah. With the one eye. Nobody avalanches me. Because you can do it fine by yourself. Coop, if we don't get that marker out of that city, they're all dead. Got it. So he thinks he can stop me. Send in the ground support. Annihilate him.
most impressive display. I salute you, Guardian. Whoever you are. The name's Coop. Well, Coop. You've done quite a bit of my work for me. Now, stand aside and let me finish cutting up this wretched little world. Listen up, you dorky sounding ice grubbing robotic chump. You ding my chrome, made me break my window, and snap my favorite key. Oh, yeah, you also tried to cut up the planet of the space Bigfoots. You want to eat some ice? Glad to oblige. Ah, uh, yeah, the fight here. Oh my god, it's CG. <laughs> oh, that was so jarring. We still need to get that last marker. No sweat. Oh, it's not over yet, Guardian. Set next markers while I finish off this little pest. Coop, get rid of that thing. I'm all over it. Big red button of irony. <laughs>
<laughs> well, looks like you guys don't have to worry about them anymore. When in doubt, blow up a planet. But you destroyed Sorel. The sun is... I know! No more bad guys, and I made the weather nice. <laughs> Two for one, <laughs> not bad. Ooh, hey, want to stick around and go rafting? <laughs> Why don't we head home before you do any more damage here? Yeah, I gotta make a few repairs anyways. Plus, all this ice made me thirsty for a slushy. Later, guys. Stay cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what would happen if fucking Hawk melted? Oh! Already turned out great for them, actually. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> they're okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Anyway, uh, if you'll give me a moment, I'm gonna go over. I'm actually gonna stand up, walk over to this side of the room. I'm actually gonna move this thing, get, grab this thing, and sit back down. All right. Okay. <coughs> Good episode. Uh, it was kind of boring for a lot of it, but, it, like, the last third, pretty good. Uh... Next. Huh? I installed a new subwoofer and routed the amplifier through the quantum drive. Did you say quantum drive? Coop, do you remember what happened last time you tried to upgrade the sound system? Eleven million. Not eleven. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, that was the beta test. I worked out the bugs. Right. So how does it sound this time? Check it out. Rock on. I don't get it. Why isn't it doing anything? Uh, I think it is. Oh, who is, who is it? Where did they go? Whoa. Where are we? Oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> Looks like your radio generates cross-universal wormholes. Is that a bad thing? When you don't know where the wormhole is taking you? Yes. Hey, no sweat. I'll just take us back. Uh... So we can get back with our normal drive, right? Coop, we could be anywhere in known or unknown space. How big can space be? We could ask the giant robot that looks like it's about to kill us! Oh, almost. Almost got to the nice. Pardon me. 
<laughs> what the? Hey! Just let the giant robot walk away, Coop. If we stay away from the giant robots, we stay away from trouble. It may be able to tell us where we are. Oh, man. I hate asking for directions. Yeah, farmer robots. With all these farming sim games that we're getting because Harvest Moon is no longer Harvest Moon, if you ever see a new game that's called Harvest Moon, that's not the real Harvest Moon. That's some, like, licensed bootleg. The real Harvest Moon is Story of Seasons. With all these Harvest Moon likes coming out how come there isn't a farming game that's robot themed like this i feel like we should have been here at we've got we should have gotten a game like this at some point you know i have returned welcome back i and i've heard your plea for a robot farming game because Here's I, because I was like, I was like, we've had all these Harvest Moon likes, and also Harvest Moon is no longer Harvest Moon. the The original team went on to make a series called Story of Seasons, and I'm like, why isn't there a robot one? Because it, they're robot farmers in this in, in this episode. Here's why: the people who like farming games and the people who like uh, robot games or robots in general, there's not a whole lot of overlap. That's me. I'm in that overlap. I'm in those two circles. Okay. <laughs> Game developers don't think that there is enough overlap. It's, it's like I can clone myself. I can also. I can why would it. robots need to farm? Uh, it's <coughs> well, why do these need to farm? Let's find out. Also, uh, you missed two episodes. Uh, three, two, not three. This two, I missed two episodes. Uh, the first one straight up is a Terminator, Terminator parody, but not like, you know, actual Terminator. The Glorfts just act out Terminator 1. And the second one was the one about the ice planet, right? Yeah, that one was kind of boring until kind of close to the end. Until the end, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it was interesting how little I cared. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Thank you for welcoming me back, Cheetah. Thank you. Ash is a very cool... I like that robot. He's having a good time. He's having a good time. Hey, pal. I don't mean to interrupt your flower arranging or whatever, but do you know how to get to Earth? Earth? What's Earth? It's a planet, kind of like this one. We got Philly cheesesteaks and video games and, you know, Earth. <laughs> Earth. They're not He's so dumb. Coop. There are other planets? Oh. Uh-oh. Earth. Wait, I do know Earth. I seem to remember. Oh, no. Why would you want to leave here, number 12? Number 12? Oh, I gotcha. Nah, my name's Coop, and this is just Megas' racing number. You know, to make it look cooler. We're trying to get back home. Do you know where we are? Yeah. Maybe you could lead the way. You got those big jets on your back. You can fly, right? Fly? I can fly? That's I am Weasel. Uh-huh. Let me double check this voice actor because I don't remember the name. Yeah, because I, I don't want to just keep calling him my own weasel yeah, forever. Uh, make another one remember something, Coop. <laughs> That's Michael Dorn. Yeah, Michael Dorn. Oh no. Oh no. Aww. Security breach neutralized. 
escape attempt order. Oh, it's prison. Yo, that guy was gonna give me directions. Number 12, what are you doing here? No, not number 12. The name's Coop. Say it with me now. Coop. Coop. <laughs> Coop. Yeah, ooh, like that. <laughs> okay, I think they got it now. Jeez, your robot farming game exists. Apparently, I don't know what it is though. What is it called? That's what I would like to know. It's funny, I saw those robot deer and I was like, oh, Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> Oh, uh, there was a thing in the last episode uh, where, out of nowhere, a CG Megas model showed up. It was very jarring. Oh. Apparently the scratch mechanic. Yeah, I will take a look at this. Oh. No, that's not what I'm looking for. I don't want to farm robots. Unless you're you making want to a farm, joke. You, you want to farm as robots, yes. is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, uh, I think CG's making a joke, with in robots. which case, ha uh, ha uh, uh. Literally. Jeez, I have some bad news for you about what, what robot farming is. It's uh -huh. called, uh, it's called oil drilling. Yeah. deal with number 12, personally. Oh no. Oh man, something tells me that isn't. Where did their shading go? Where where's their shading? They're flat. Don't worry about it. Oh, that's ooh, that's jarring too. Good. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's you know. I welcome that. <laughs> I, I welcome that even. Okay, see it's back, so you're fine. Yeah, that was weird. I'm trying, but all the subsystems are remote. Fucking, they turned into background characters in the Hey Arnold movie. Shut up. <laughs> That's such a specific reference. Yeah, why Why would you make me remember that? Hey, it's that guy with the directions. <laughs> <laughs> I was having an alright day. Why'd you have to make me do that? Artificial intelligence is such a <gasps> troublesome technology. Hello, Peter Cullen. Especially when you hunks of metal forget that you are here to serve. It's so funny that, like, this is the second character he's voiced, and the first one was a big robot, but he was not channeling Optimus Prime as oh. much as he is now with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the other big robot actually is not an Optimus Prime-like. He's more of a Mazinger-like. Oh, Mazinga, getting in, fancy in, with it. In, in fact, I'm pretty sure they just plucked him out of the show and just put him in there. And <laughs> and uh, he has a rival in that episode who's voiced by Frank Welker, who's literally just doing his Megatron. God. You thought you could get away, number 32. I am not a number. I am a machine. I was under the impression we had put an end to this sort of thinking. Okay, see, that's Optimus. Yeah. Second time. yeah. He's channeling Optimus way chair. harder here. No. Not the chair. Not again. I can remember. I remember what I was. This is some existential crisis shit. Yeah. Don't worry. I'll make sure your friend number 12 here joins you back in the garden. It's Coop. My name is Coop. C O O P Coop. How hard is that to remember? <laughs> I 
Nick Lopez in the chat says, what's the reprogramming sequence? It's a pop what TV marathon. Exactly the healthy kind of attitude we strive for here. Now get back to work. I don't know why you've suddenly become a problem, number 12. We're only trying to help you. We need to tell him this is a mistake. I can't. The systems are still messed up. Well, he's going to fry us if you don't. <laughs> Would it work on organics? Let's find out. Wait, I'm okay? Yeah. What's going on? This device must only affect a robot with an artificial intelligence operating construct. You hear that? You can't do nothing to us because we don't have intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> intelligence undetected. Hmm. Interesting. Life forms <laughs> piloting a machine entity. Take a picture, pal. It'll last longer. Why are you interfering with my facility? I was just looking for directions. See what happens when you ask for directions? You destroyed <laughs> two of my guards, one of my most efficient workers, and you tried to liberate another. Intelligence, artificial or otherwise, is dangerous here. Then I guess we're cool. Well, I can't have you try to influence my workers again. By some alien creep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Getting brainwashed is starting to sound pretty good to me. Hey, Kiva, any time now. I can't do anything from here. See if I can reverse the positive output on the fusion drive. Jump start, Magus. Oh, yeah. Oh, I knew that. Right. <laughs> Jumpy starting. Gotcha. <laughs> Intelligence undetected, indeed. Just, uh, hurry. At least it'll be over quickly. That's fucked up if he feels pain. Sized way out coming right up. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! 
think to say, that's a proper label for once. So for some reason, I thought it was like a garage and what was kind of going to come out was like the fucking armadillo tank, you know, fucking on the Tarkis album. Really? That's yeah. where your mind went. I don't, I don't know why. I, I thought, I thought garage and I was like, is that a big round tank thing? Oh, oh what if? Nah. Maybe it's just because that's radical. It you is radical. <laughs> Tarkus, the band introduced the concept of a of a big armadillo tank and went nowhere with it. <laughs> just, just just put it on an album and that's it. Uh, at magic circles, we call that a juggernaut. Oh. some inferior life form with a tolerance for artificial intelligence ruin my work uh hey guys remember me i'm the good guy trying to help you out come on coop what are you waiting for tear them apart i can't they're not the bad guys so that never stopped you before smash them before they smash me it's that transmitter array he's using it to control them all right, you brainwashing alien creep. You tried to grind us up, you enslaved a bunch of innocent robots, and now you're making me late for spicy ham nuggets. I got no words for you, pal. Game over. Over. Two words. Whatever. I wonder what pork nuggets are like. Pork nuggets? Yeah. Oh, hurt the good guys. I mean, don't hurt the good guys. Huh. Yeah, because spicy ham nuggets the means that they're pork. We must protect the array. Oh, come on. He tries Whoa, to do the good not that guy. He tries to do the good thing. Oh, no. Does that count as hurting them? <laughs> you see, 
I am in control here. And now, I will have these mechanical abominations tear you apart. Well, looks like it's funny that this optimist saying this. Yeah. No way. I'm putting this guy out of business for good. Yeah. I love that it's the Konami code, but with like a bunch of PlayStation buttons in there. Yeah. I remember what happened. Well, that's that. You think you can remember those directions to Earth? Milky Way coordinates Alpha 679. That's it. Great. Thanks, man. Well, guys, it's been fun. But I gotta get going now. Have fun being free and all. What have you done? Everything I've built. Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Cruise. Hold on a second. Cruise in USA. It did say cruise in USA. Cruise out of control and Kelly Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. They had so much fun on this show. Amazing. Yeah. You saved all those robots and didn't destroy a planet to do it. That's all right. We'll do it next time. I meant that as a good thing. Prison. Yeah, I was right. Yeah, Coop, you're a real hero. <laughs> <laughs> I like that even though it was a prison, it was still unethical, like in the real world. Free to wreak havoc on the universe. Yes, free. Free to resume my reign of destruction. And to thank my liberator, I think I may just start with Earth. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. It's fine now. It's fine. All right, cool. We have three more left. This right. th this upcoming one and a two-parter finale. Centauri. I should be the most feared criminal in the universe, but instead they insult me with such a paltry bounty. Let's see what they do when I destroy planets, implore the stars, and wipe out entire solar systems with. <laughs> You know, I'll count that as a reference. It said he looks, Skalgar looks like a Unicron, even though he's not actually. Hey, sorry, little guy. Didn't see you down there. Smolicron, yeah. <laughs> I 
set out to do something truly spectacular to correct their poor mathematics. But what? What's this? With this, I can control anything. Hmm? I made it myself. It's the most powerful universal controller anywhere. Signal locked. Oh, a universal controller, huh? He who controls a universe can destroy a universe. Finally. After all these years of not being given the recognition I deserve, the galaxy shall it tremble at the mere mention of the name Skullgar! <laughs> 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 I wonder how you'll wreck the city with that. Relax. It's just a remote control. What could go wrong, huh? <laughs> Check it out. Now we won't miss our favorite shows when we're out fighting bad guys. Or skipping important combat training to go watch some monster movies. Yeah, that too. Either way, we're covered. Plus, it's voice activated. You made a voice activated remote control? Universal control? Works everything I own. And I plugged it into Megas to boost the range. Check it out. Channel 12. <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> Murtlock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because you <laughs> I had to get it in there. Change the channel when you're 53 blocks from home. 54, but I could work this thing from Saturn if I wanted to. Always finding the best uses for Megas's highly sophisticated systems. Yeah, and I can tape different movies on different channels at different times. <laughs> Woo! Starting with Slugman. Wait, isn't Slugman one of the movies we're seeing tonight for the 30th time? But tonight, we're going to see it in 3D. Just make sure you tape Cheerleader Wars. Tonight's the final episode, and I want to find out who's going to make Captain. I hope it's Sarah. Uh. Oh yeah, Sarah, she's hot. And don't forget to the Revenge of the Amoeba people. <laughs> Love that he doesn't even say that like he agrees. He's just like Not playing along like, oh yeah, Sarah, she's hot. Sneaking people into the drive-in is a <laughs> That's the first mention we've seen of Coop calling anyone hot. Yeah. <laughs> Once I find this controller, I will be able to destroy the entire universe with the press of a button. Is that kid in every episode? Just about. And establish my reputation as yeah. the best of the worst. Now, to add a few more zeros to that bounty of mine. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's a really good transition. <laughs> that has to be really hard to eat. <laughs> you wouldn't think it rocked if you met one. Ooh, time for my show. Oh, this is great. Tape Slugman, Channel Forty One. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Everyone should have one of these. Signal located. Yes. <laughs> hey, so, uh, okay, cool. Hey, uh, are you familiar with that episode of Breaking Bad? No. All right, cool. Uh, not really spoilers, but it's a big downer. Uh, in an episode of Breaking, okay, see, CG knows exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> In an episode of Breaking Bad, uh, there is a flight controller who is on meth, and he's, like, giving, like, the, the, the coordinates directions thing in, like, in the, in the fucking flight tower, and there are these two planes that took off together and are going in the same direction. He messes up in giving the directions one little bit. Because he's on meth. And that causes the planes to collide. Oh. Yeah, it's not a fun thing. But that's that's a downer, yeah. It's a real big downer. But this would also do that. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny. Yeah. Glasses are broken. They only make everything look blurry. <laughs> I don't know. Looks pretty good to me. Wait a minute. That's not part of the movie. Any resistance will be met with severe consequences. Hey, you just destroyed the last drive-in theater in Jersey. Too bad you destroyed the other three. Yeah. Forget the yeah. drive-in. <laughs> We've got bigger problems. <laughs> 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 Is he a bot in a mech? Yes. Hey, watch out, Coop. He might try to hit you in the knees. <laughs> be careful. We don't know what he may be capable of. <laughs> Please. This guy is half the size of what I usually have to fight. Yeah, and little guys are easy to beat up. <laughs> Guess we're the little guy. Now I will take what's mine. Yo, man, I don't know who you are and what you want, but I am sure you have heard the name Skalgar the Destroyer. Uh, no. Skalgar, Death Dealer. Mm, nope. <laughs> Skalgar the Ravager? Nah. Skalgar the Despoiler? No. Skalgar <laughs> the Ruiner? Skalgar the... Listen, schoolgirl. Skalgar! <laughs> Skalgar! <laughs> Whatever. The only thing you're getting from me is a world of hurt.
<laughs> Let's see how he likes this. Uh, Coop, overkill? Yeah. Do more. You will know <laughs> soon enough who I am. Entire system shall tremble at the mere mention of my name. At least those that I spare once I have the power of that universal controller. What? The, the universal, universal controller. controller? What the heck is he gonna do with my control? It only works my stuff. A uh, Coop, I think he misunderstands what a universal controller is. Great. He's short and dumb. Enough of this! Give me the controller! Or what? Or this! Oh man, I'm gonna miss the final episode of Cheerleader Wars. <laughs> It's Transformers. Uh, kind oh, of. Close. <laughs> Similar. They look cool. I won't let some amateur outgun me. Dang. <laughs> Can we need to play spoiler requirement? <laughs> Make your own. Coop, this is pointless. Just give it to him before you destroy any more of the city. Look, man, this thing only controls my TV and stuff. Here, I'll prove it. Channel 28. Signal locked. Whoa! Ah! The control is <laughs> mine. I will conquer. I will enslave, I will destroy, and I finally will get the recognition I deserve, so- <laughs> Controller. How does this thing work? <laughs> Is the rainbow bar hypnotic? No. Can't tape the extended version of Revenge of the Amoeba People. They never show the extended version. <laughs> and we're gonna miss it because God. some munchkin alien with an inferiority complex stole your remote. Fine. You wanna steal my stuff? Here's something from me to you for free. Protons. <laughs> That's right. 
Is that bad? <laughs> What's happening? That was bad. What kind of idiot would design a weapon that makes your enemy stronger? So, I reversed a few wires. I mean, I do it all the time. How was I supposed to know? <laughs> I am indestructible. I am unstoppable. Now, I truly do have the most powerful weapon in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Think you will give me back my remote now? <laughs> Our weapons won't be able to penetrate that shield. No problem. I'll just hit him with something bigger. <laughs> but our weapons won't be able to penetrate that shield? Why do you even bother? Ha! They won't have enough zeros to put on my bounty! <laughs> now I will be respected! Respect this! Master Blaster! thing is pretty cool. Yeah, maybe next time we can use it. Coop, do something! We can't use any weapons. That mech is completely untouchable. Untouchable, huh? Okay, you galactic bad guy wannabe. You smash up my drive-in, stole my one-of-a-kind universal controller, and made me miss Revenge of the Amoeba People. And the final episode of Cheerleader Wars. Yeah! If I can't get to you from the outside, I'm gonna bring your insides to me. Yeah! Huh? that uh, i don't know i was just trying to get my remote back that's his influx stabilizer drive and you destabilized it <laughs> a little bit bigger this time I guess that works too. Actually, it didn't. Pulling his influx stabilizer drive reversed the polarity of the shield. Hey, schoolgirl, bet you can't hit us. Skullgar! Skullgar! Stop mocking me! Uh oh. Actually, it's a good thing. He's trapped in there, and anything he shoots is reflected back at him. Now, to finish you for good. 
So he can't hit us, and anything he shoots gets bounced back at him? <laughs> no big explosion, just <laughs> it's the one thing in this episode that didn't explode. Hey, you tried to warn him. Coop, you just destroyed the entire city over a remote control. Which you just blew up. Oh, well. I think I forgot to put her tape in the VCR anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so when's the movie gonna start? It's getting hot back here. Guys? Uh. Guys? Guys? <laughs> <laughs> And that's the last normal episode, because now, two-part finale. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's a Mad Cat's controller if I've ever seen one. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Fatality. <laughs> oh, there was a little CG. I saw it for a brief moment. <laughs> yeah! Did you guys see that? Yes, we saw it. Now stop showing off and cover us. Looks like a GameCube controller. Yeah, looks like... <laughs> In Magus. <laughs> it looked like a gold version of the fucking like weird game controller that they gave Grimm in that episode of Billy and Mandy. <laughs> Do you remember? I think so. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna send you the picture. Wait, what was it? It's uh, it's like the. The gold controller that Coop had, I said, looks like the weird controller that they gave Grimm in that episode of Billy and Mandy. I don't remember that. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm exaggerating, but <laughs> <laughs> God, one day Mad Cats will make a controller that looks like this. Hold on. Mad Cat's defunct. I think, kind of, but not really. Uh, there you go. Oh yeah, that thing. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me put it on screen for Ed to. No, I don't want 4chan archives. I just want the image. I can't even figure out how to control this thing. Exactly. And you know what? Sure. This controller, chat. <laughs> it's an exaggeration, but oh man, one day, <laughs> one day, and back to the show. Where it's safe? If we don't shut this thing down, it won't matter where you are. We'll all be dead. <laughs> Sir, he's preventing us from getting to the core destroyer. The humans are going to deactivate it. Focus on the core destroyer. I will take care of that knuckle dragging primitive. <laughs> hey, look who came out to play. No more playing, Earther. The game ends today. Whoa. 
Okay, not the Canonica this time. Also, that was called the Trans D Drive. <laughs> Myself to some alien planet. This looks like Planet Vegeta, only even shittier. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hope I didn't do this. I'm gonna call that a reference, even though it's a fucking. No, I'm not. I won't count that. Cause that's just a fucking quote. Everyone says it. No, it's a reference. They have to zoom out everything. You know that's fair. The Statue of Liberty was a lumberjack that was asking God would. Yeah. Uh, that was a reference to Planet of the Apes. Uh, that's what I'm. Th that's what I'm saying, Ash. It was a reference, but I'm counting deep cut references. Things that like, uh, jo J John two pack, John twelve pack, and Jennifer two liter are not gonna get. That's that's my term for normal people. Nice. Or is it Joe twelve pack? It's one of those. Joe or John. Kiva, Jamie. Anybody! All units report! I said report! Commander! I'll have your door blocks for this! Yo! What'd you do to my city? If my planet succeeded, there would be no planet left, let alone a city. Ah! You did this! No! You're lying! Doesn't look too good. <laughs> the earth is finally mine. Oh. What is the meaning of this? This is mutiny. I'll have all your jaw blocks. <laughs> Looks like someone decided to change sides. Or not. These are CG models. Power down. Resist and you will be destroyed. Oh! Humans in my mechs. So why the heck you hit me for? He's the bad guy. 
I repeat, surrender or be destroyed. Surrender to a human? Ha! Destruction it is. <laughs> That's a reference to something. See, look, it's fine. They have their parachutes and everything. Oh, uh, sorry. I think? Are we on the same side here or what? Not if I have anything to say about it. Being hit with a giant taser press here. <laughs> very, very specific, but hey, it comes in handy. Oh, go! Yeah, I think. I don't know. How dare you treat me like this aboard my own ship! I just hope they've got Philly cheesesteaks in this dimension. I haven't had my second lunch yet. Oh, how is it possible that a remedial life form like you could have stopped me time and again. <laughs> oh, the winner of oh, oh, their base belong to you. Okay, hold on. The winner all their base are belong to you. And I also uh, love... It's fucking... <laughs> Jin fight game over. You win. Yoshi Mitsuri, you can lose this. <laughs> My God. And you know what it looks like? The fact that there's no fucking background. It looks like Tekken One. No. Oh, Tekken no, Two. It looks like it looks like Holoseum. 
Oh. Do you know what Holiseum is? I don't. Oh man, they played it once on um uh, on Scrub Lords. Oh. And it actually didn't look that bad, but like it's basically like a you're controlling these four, one of the four characters uh, that like represents a fighting style, um, and uh, in between matches, the starts him as like this big, like purple hologram head. Um, I actually have a sound clip from that from that game saved on my computer somewhere um, <laughs> because it's hilarious. Like, um, Holocene. Let me see if I can find it. Yoshimitsu Ryuken. <laughs> I, I'm, I still love that. Because I was going to say, it, he looks like fucking Raiden with like a sword. No, that's just Yoshimitsu. All right, I found it. Ah. Play it on. Play, play it for the stream. I will play it for the stream. Yeah. All right. It's always great to see guys in good shape. <laughs> that that just sounds like a fucking like like a like a gym trainer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It's no it's nice to see guys in good shape. <laughs> what can I say? Whooping alien freaks is a skill. It's really funny that he says it's like, oh man, I've been fighting aliens like my whole life, and he fought Yoshimitsu. People forget Yoshimitsu in Tekken is technically an alien. Kind of. It's like it's like in his uh, in his fucking Tekken One uh, biography, which uh, who knows how canon those are anymore. <laughs> it says Nina likes Tom and Jerry. I'm gonna double check this. Uh... <laughs> so wait, is Yoshimitsu an alien? <laughs> Asks Reddit. <laughs> oh, it's taking too long to load. <sighs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna look at the Tekken bio. A ninja from space. Also the head of the World Theft Ring, the Manji Group. The Manji Group. Yeah, literally a ninja from space. <laughs> he is technically... I mean, are you sure that's not just a title? No, it literally just... It, ninja is capitalized. From space is not. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is a ninja from space. That's, that's how it looks. Christ. To know who's in command here. That would be me. And I don't think you are in a position to demand anything. Fucking using his Spike Spiegel voice. Jamie, man, am I glad to see you. <laughs> Let me just get out of here. This squid is starting to stink. It looks like you've put on a few extra pounds, Coop. Only a few? Gorath, all this time we thought you were dead. What rock have you been hiding under? The day I hide from an Earther is the day the universe implodes. <laughs> Indeed. What's the matter, Coop? You've sunk so low that now you can sort with spineless aliens? Spineless? What? Hey, you got the wrong idea. See, I was kicking his butt and then we ended up in this warp thing and... Don't insult my intelligence. Since our war started, we've been trying to capture you. War? Us? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that even supposed to be? Come on, man. We were just messing around. <laughs> I'll let you win next time. Now that we have you, I'm going to make sure you rot in this cell for the rest of your life. This alternate dimension evil Jamie's real jerk. I mean, more than the regular dimension Jamie. <sighs> if we are truly his enemy, he should have eliminated us. Even in victory, you humans are pathetic. <laughs> and getting locked up in your own ship ain't pathetic? 
I wish Kiva was here. She'd probably have opened the door and knocked out those guards by now. Yeah. Kinda like that. Oh, sure. You're a real tough guy when you're not in a giant robot. Nothing would give me greater pleasure than squashing your fat head. But, unfortunately, I need your help. Why should I help you? Because if you don't, you'll never get back to your dimension! Okay, let's find our robots. But, you gotta stop with all that touching, man. You're clammy. <laughs> so, you're saying because we came to this dimension together, we have to leave together? Yes. This is basic interdimensional mechanics. Yeah. Well, I think I slept through that class. Never mind! All you need to know is that if we fail to get our mechs, we will be trapped in this wretched place forever. I thought alternate dimensions would be a lot cooler. Some sort of diversion. Right. Diversion. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I'm sure no one heard that. Yeah. Yeah, they heard it. Have I told you how much I hate you? I am impressed. Allowing yourself to get caught just so you could activate a homing beacon for them to find our base. Very clever. Clever? Him? Hey! I should have eliminated the two of you right away. I won't make the same mistake twice. to get to our mechs now! Don't have to tell me twice! <sighs> to your mechs! Defend this city! Once we're above ground, activate the dimensional portal and we return home. Right! No sweat! I just gotta activate this portal thing. You remember how, don't you? Yeah, sure I do. Sort of. All right, Squid. Tried to wreck this city again. Made me go to some alternate dimension where Jamie is a bigger creep than usual. And you got me locked up in a jail with no food. It's time to rumble. Are you talking to me? <laughs> I'm on your side now, remember? Oh, sorry. Force a habit, I guess. <sighs> what I do now, I do so that I may go back and destroy you in our own dimension. Whatever you say. Let's rock! <laughs> are doing more damage than Jamie. The city's coming down. 
All units head for the surface. <laughs> Leave him! We need to get back to our dimension! Jamie, just stop acting crazy and come with me! Never! Won the battle, but not the war. I will destroy your army, Coop. Why do you want to destroy my army? You have an army, and all of my forces have been destroyed. I don't think I can stomach this dimension any longer. <laughs> Look, man, stop being all evil. It ain't cool. It's way more fun being a good guy. I am a good guy. Then who's the bad guy? Rebel forces defeated, awaiting your command. No uh -oh. way. Kiva's the bad guy? <laughs> Destroy them all. Okay, so a few things. First of all, all right. Uh, <laughs> s s second of all, that's a fucking. Hold on. Uh -huh. All right, that's a fucking like a a fucking Zaku head. I think. I think. It's close. It's not exact. It's a fucking. Oh, what's it? What's it called? Uh... I have the name. Uh, it's it's close. Yeah. It, it, what I'm thinking of is a fucking uh, gof. G-O-U-F. The fucking the blue one with the weird tentacle thing. Uh, it looks like that. Uh, third of all. <laughs> Evil Coop can totally get it. I knew you were going to say that. Because, uh, listen, am I wrong? No, you're not. I exactly. Like, regular Coop can get it, too. Yeah, this one is like a... Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> it was not... It was... I kind of forgot this is what he looked like. <laughs> yeah? There's some fucking fireworks going off, and it's like... <laughs> oh, they agree. <laughs> Cheese has a thing for the muscly men. Uh, it kind of. It's less that he's muscly and more it's like, oh, this is a thing I know but different. I see. <laughs> what the fuck? Not, is not Jamie, though. No. Not, not I, it's, I'm more like. I don't, ja well. I don't like the lips on this one. You know? Yeah, no, they fucking emphasize <laughs> it. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's more for Jamie. It's more that you know, be doing the Spike Spiegel voice, and that's always good. <laughs> All right, part two, the final. So I saw part one of this. I never saw part two. Oh, baby, then let's get in there. Let's Stop go. Off and cover us. If we don't shut this thing down, we'll all be dead. The game Something today. was going on earlier. There was like fucking so many fireworks what going off. <laughs> Resist and you will be destroyed. Since our war started, we've been trying to capture you. War? I am a good guy. Then who's the bad guy? Rebel forces defeated. Awaiting your command. <laughs> Destroy them all. Oh, nope. Okay, no, I was gonna say no intro. No, nah, this is still the cold open. Two of them! 
This is getting out of hand. Now they are too old. This guy's supposed to be me? That explains a great deal. Kiva, what's happening here? DNA matches. Although trace signatures indicate he's from an alternate reality. He appears to be you. And then some. How do you even fit into that old hunk of scrap? Hey, knock the fat all you want, but no one talks trash about Megas. Megas? <laughs> I abandoned that toy years ago. Permission to destroy them? I'll take care of this myself. Never. No more destruction. Your madness ends here, Coop. Wait, you're saying I did all this? I mean, he did? And now, thanks to you, I have the coordinates to your dimension. I can destroy Earth all over again. <laughs> Custom car body shop. Wacky Wiener Company. Jersey City Arcade. Arcade and food court. Oh, and hot rods. What makes you think I'm gonna let you do that? This. Whoa. Ha, that all you got? <laughs> Call that a rocket punch. Lock in the coordinates and prepare the dimensional gate. Understood. <laughs> Everybody okay? My army's decimated, my stronghold crushed, and now there's not one, but two coops on a rampage. Yeah, I'm great. Man, I am so gonna kick his butt. I mean, my butt. I mean, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, that counts as me beating you again. Why don't we just return to our dimension so I can finish beating you? No way! I ain't gonna let some skinny, evil version of me go around wrecking dimensions. But we have nothing to fight him with. We got two things, Megas and the element of surprise. Well, we still have the element of surprise. <laughs> now. If I were an evil chump version of myself, where would I be? The dimensional gate is at his fortress. I got a fortress? Nice. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's go get him. Destroying Jersey City for the second time should be even more satisfying. Engage the dimensional gate.
What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's already got the the this cool is fire sword. Cool. I like to call closing the gate. No one trashes Jersey City. Uh, but me. You should be dead. I'm going to sweep you aside like a fat ball of dust. <laughs> you and what army? No doubt that one. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll handle this. <laughs> Your obsolete mech is a disgrace. Does this look obsolete? <laughs> I was wondering why they held on that. Yes, it does. You ever wish there were like uh, uh, kits of the mechs from this show? I wonder if Bandai would prevent that. I don't think Bandai has a patent on like, uh, uh, what are they called? Gunpla. That's what it's called. Uh, they wouldn't like prevent that because like that, they don't have a patent on that. But, uh, yeah, there should have been something from the show. Coop, get out of there. There's too many of them. Earthbear, listen to him. We can't win this fight. Retreat. No way. The only thing I hate more than you is me. I mean, me, him, him. You know what I mean. I ain't quitting. Status. Damage is minimal. I can have the gate operational in a few hours. Good. Do it. As much as I hated doing that, I still need you alive. No sweat. I'll get Megas patched up and we'll set things straight. Such a waste. First I'm trapped in the past, and now I'm trapped in a dimension where you rule. Shoot me now. <laughs> this ain't so bad. I can fix this. Even the little hula girl. How did this happen? I ain't supposed to be the bad guy. You weren't always. After years of fighting, 
You finally defeated the Glorft. But something happened to you. You just kept fighting, slowly losing your mind as you conquered your way across space. Eventually, you even abandoned Magus. Kiva followed you every step of the way, intent on getting back to the future and freeing Earth. But she lost sight of her goal and her humanity. You destroyed everything. Like that would ever happen. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way I'd go all evil and abandon <coughs> Magus. Abandon. This won't be enough. He's probably entering your dimension right now. If only I could contact my army. We'd smash all of you and I could get back to conquering Earth. I got a plan. Oh, no. Advance! So. Why won't you die? Next time you abandon Megus, don't leave it in my garage. Sir, what happened? No time to explain. All units, attack formation. Form on the Earther. Sir, are you sure? Shouldn't we destroy him? Don't question my orders. Follow them. Yes, sir. All winds form on the Earther. Excellent. Looks like I get to destroy the Glorft all over again. Not this time. Listen up, you jive clone wannabe. You wrecked my alternate dimension city, blew up my robot, and worst of all, made me skinny. Well, you're in my dimension now, and we do things a little differently here. I thought you'd be happy to see Earth enslaved. If anyone is going to enslave this world, it's me! Oh man, what button did Coop push to make a whole army show up? Just keep that panel open. Coop, what's happening? Where did you go? Long story. No time. 
busy whooping my evil alternate reality's butt. I don't know what you did, but we still need to shut this thing down. Just keep the Glorks occupied a little longer. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. You know you don't have a chance. I don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone needs to watch a little more pay-per-view wrestling. Yeah! That stuff is fake. Does this look fake? <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta get one more in there. How you like old fashioned real reality, Coop? Finally, destroying you will bring me great joy. With your antiquated technology. Looks like the only one squid. <laughs> is it just me or is Coop fighting with the glorf? That's impossible. show you how we do things in my dimension. when you're stuck between dimensions. Oh yeah, that just kills them. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget. Well, yeah. Earthers are defeated. Initiate the core destroyer. Uh... Wait. <laughs> oh. that all about and where did that army of mechs come from you won't believe it i had to fight an evil me and megas blew up and i found an even better version and you guys were dating <laughs> are you feeling okay coop 
I think he hit his head or something. Well, at least this dimension is safe from the evil me wrecking it. Yeah, the regular you did just fine. Now, let's see what kind of new stuff the evil me put in Megas. <laughs> I love this dumbass. Yeah. Oh, this is where they ended up. to go out on what an image to go out on and with that ladies germs and non-binary worms that is the end of megas xlr and that concludes the first volume of luke uh so <laughs> last night i did like a bunch of like searching for like what is like stuff that is public like uh public domain uh i got the normal answers fucking plan nine from outer space uh it's the night of the living dead stuff like that and i and then i decided to think no it can't be like public domain what's just not available for people to watch like megas xlr what is incredibly difficult to to get a hand uh, to get get to get a hold of? Track down. Yes, to track down. Uh, more answers uh, came with that. Uh, Megas XLR, Buzz Lightyear SAR command is another one. It will be what we watch next time, which will not be next week. It'll be some other time. <sighs> there are other things that are like what's not available to stream. Uh, stuff like Kappa Mikey, Danny Phantom, things like that. I don't feel comfortable with those because I feel like Viacom will still try to fuck me. Especially Danny Phantom. I'm, I'm gonna look right now. Uh, what cartoons are not available to stream? Best cartoons removed from HBO Max and where to find watch them now. <laughs> First article. Oh, they they knew they know exactly what their audience is. Uh, okay, so Infinity Train, no, because you can just buy the episodes on YouTube, Google, Amazon. Da, da, da. Close enough. Oh my god, they it was fucking removed from HBO Max. Mau Mau, uh, Mau Mau's great, first of all. If you've ever, if you've never seen Mau Mau Heroes of Pure Heart, uh, fix that. It is great. It is fantastic. Uh, Aquaman King of Atlantis. What the fuck is this? It's a three part miniseries. I don't know what it is, though. Okay, KO, let's be heroes. That makes me sad that it's gone. Rest of the article, where are you? You've disappeared. Oh, you're just not loading. You're you're not even scrolling. Oh, okay. Everything, okay. Victor and Valentino. Yeah, these things are too new. I need <laughs> older things. What are the best? Oh, All right. The back back to Reddit. What are the best shows that aren't streaming anywhere? The SWAT the SWAT cats on there. Uh, I will look at this Reddit thread. I see Infinity Train. Uh huh. Da da da. Final Space, uh -huh. MTV's Downtown, that's apparently on YouTube. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oh. What about Robotomy? Robotomy. Oh, my God. I forgot about Robotomy. Like, one of the few cartoon shows where fucking Patton Oswalt's a regular character. Yeah. The only other one that I can think of is, like, Kim Possible. And even then, his character only shows up sometimes. The only other show I can think of where he's a regular is... 
or not regular, not every episode, but like he's a guest character on there enough is like fucking Reno 911. Yeah. Uh, the the critic is one of those. God, oh, God. I, I would love to watch the critic on stream. Uh, what about uh, Duckman? Duckman. There's like a big list someone put. I'm going to actually. No, this is the fucking the Reddit app. I can't actually fucking control F. God damn it. No, yeah. Duckman. Full episodes on YouTube as well. All right. That, Yo. Yeah. Uh, what's that? Freakazoid. You can get it on Tubi. Maybe. Uh, the Max. You can watch uh, it on Amazon. One. I know another one. Uh-huh. Um, we can watch a few episodes of Beyond Belief Factor Fiction. <laughs> Is that just like it's on YouTube? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. I remember watching it with friends on YouTube. Uh -huh. Cyber Six. Oh my God, Cyber Six. Yeah. Let's go. Ah, uh, Cyber Six. It's also available through the TMS YouTube page. I forgot TMS uh, did did that. Uh, Men in Black the animated series. Yeah, that, I guess. Oh yeah. Good. Mission Hill, Mission Hill super counts. Mission Hill would be quick. Mission Hill would be very quick. <laughs> Mission Hill could probably be one stream. Hey, you know what else would be quick in one stream? Clerks the animated series. Fuck yeah, it would. <laughs> Man, Clerks the animated series. Symbionic is like, Titan. Symbi that's another one that I was like, yeah, that's definitely on the list. Symbionic Titan because that shit like. Cartoon Network wrote that the fuck off. Whoa. They they got a big fucking tax return from that. Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, it also means that it just fucking ends on a cliffhanger, which is not very good. For years, I thought the part one of the finale we just watched was the cliffhanger because I never saw any other episodes after. That. <laughs> I thought that I thought the show ended on a cliffhanger for years. No, it's fucking. <laughs> Symbionic Titan does that. Man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. We have we have a little bit of time before uh, it's actually time to, like, end the stream. Or at least, like, yeah. the, the time limit uh, hits. Um, Whoa. I kind of want to save this for after the stream. There's something I want to watch with you. Because oh. I don't think the stream would like it. But it is a clip that's just been uploaded somewhere on YouTube. What is it? Um... Since you said you were interested in it, and I said that it's not free to watch on YouTube anymore, oh. someone uploaded like the intro sequence of the Warriors. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, that that I don't think that would be YouTube friendly. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, <laughs> uh, not not even like the the audience wouldn't like it. Like YouTube just watching me stream it would not like it. Yeah, fair enough. We'll wait till after the stream. Yeah. Currently looking at stuff, being like, what would... Oh, oh. I, I got a clip for you. Ah. I got a clip for you, if you don't mind. Um, I made this last night. This is from one of the uh, OS Dub reviews. The uh, um... 2001 Royal Rumble. And I want you to watch this. This is a part where test... The wrestler test eliminates William William Regal from the Royal Rumble, and uh -huh. then and then Jr. says this. All right, let me just uh, just real quick put that there. It's okay, so, okay. So I, I I saw this. I I didn't watch it. I saw that you posted it. Uh, yeah. The only reason why I didn't say anything about it is because for some reason, watching clips on mobile is kind of fucked. It's weird. I bet it is, yeah. Uh, like, it, like, it worked before, but it wasn't working when you posted this. Stream back up for me. Uh-huh. And then... Uh, and then... Whoa, and then whoa. No, oh. that's, that's the Discord oh, okay. server. That's the one. <laughs> it's <test> <laughs> <laughs> JR's delivery on that gets me. Every it was molested. <laughs> Play it again. Oh, and, 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 yeah. It's test. I can't it's believe a... he, was, he was besmirched. I can't, he was molested. I can't... <laughs> he, he was besmirched. He was molested. 
That's some strong language for the Royal Rumble. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have anything substantial to watch uh, other than this. And you don't seem to understand. Oh, man, come on. All right. I'm not going to play the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, did I show you this? Did I show you this one? Yes. Hang on. I think you did. This was another one. Uh, uh, probably not, actually. Let's see. By the way, I want to say hi to my one little fan out there. Hello, Smokey, my cat. <laughs> This was during Bret Hart's WCW run where he just did not give a shit. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> My cat. <laughs> he did this for weeks. He'd get in the ring and do a promo with me. He would just periodically talk about, oh, I want to say all of the smoke. Love you. Great. It's, like, it's so hilarious. I love it. Anything that I looked at. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you know what? This would be uh, th 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 this. This would be a little bit of a of a fun thing. So what Matt Rose does, uh, he's he looks at like various funny social media things, like uh, tweets, Facebook posts, things like that. Uh, yeah. In this video that he's showing, uh, he did guess the family film from the IMDb Parents Guide, and now he's doing it for video games. In this one, go. We looked at the IMDb reviews of family-friendly films left by overprotective parents, keen to alert the world to all the sexy. King Julian moves his body in a kissy way. As in Madagascar and gory violence in chicken. A bad character constantly has accidents with a pie machine. Run. As we all know, IMDb is the internet movie database, so I don't know what authority it rightly has to be reviewing video games, but no, they're all on there, and similarly, each one has a parent's guide, including those that probably don't require a parent's The game is about rocket cars. Guide. I'm going to show 20 video games to guess, and a little hint, none of them also appear in my Steam guessing game videos. <laughs> oh, the, the balls on your horse shrink in the winter. That's a Red Dead game. Yeah, it's Red Dead 2. Okay, focus everyone. The exam begins now. Sex and nuttity is not really in the game. Sometimes the characters have their belly button show a little. Hosted a Travis Scott concert, said Frick. Under alcohol, drugs and smoking, there are blue and green liquids that the player can drink to give them extra health armor. People get drunk non-stop. Non-stop. What do you think? Sounds like Fortnite. Yeah. Ah! Boss, Blank stabs Blank in the chest and blood spurts. When he gets him off, Blank pulls it out, spurting more. Hmm, I feel like that could be phrased a little bit better. In the stealth level with Blank, when a toolbox is knocked over, a guy say, What dumb and dats doesn't put their s pound at at away? While free roaming in New York City, there is a particular billboard that shows a woman that wears a top with very low cleavage. Uh, it's a little bit more general because it mentions New York City. Uh, no idea. Spider Man. In the box, I wanted the to say shirt, that, but, but I could not remember any spot in the game where someone in gets baseball, stabbed. Some of the higher CPUs can pitch the ball over 100 miles per hour. Some YouTube videos suggest that they should be drug tested. And a warning here not just for this video game, but all video games and indeed everything in life. Losing can be unsettling for some. Uh, let's see. Unsettling. Boxing and baseball? Boxing and baseball are involved. Huh. Sounds like a Wii Sports game. Yes. Ah! One of the main characters calls someone stupid. Slight alcohol references in the pirate's world. There is a scene near the end of the game where every character is killed off. They do end up coming back to life, yeah. But the scene may be emotional and too much for young children. Kingdom Hearts? This is a Kingdom Hearts game. <laughs> it's Kingdom Hearts. 
three. I am so good at this! That talk about alcohol, even some songs that talk about drugs. There is a lot of female characters in this game who are suggestive. There's songs that have profanities, even something like S word. I'm gonna say. Anarchy Reigns. <laughs> Or like Mad World. Uh, if only it was either of them. <laughs> what we got? It's Rock Band. Okay. One character is really? smoking yeah. a cigar. It's rage inducing, which is very intense for the user. When Blank's <laughs> Venom Mine is triggered, she says something in French. Sapique. N'est-ce pas? Many players mistake this passive voice line for suck dick, n'est-ce pas? Due to Blank's thick French accent. The voice line actually means stings, doesn't it? Oh. Oh, she's my wife. This is Overwatch. Yeah, <laughs> you knew. You knew exactly who it was. Just that Venom line. I was like Overwatch. Yeah. Yep. Sucks dick, doesn't it? Cartoon <laughs> violence. Power ups include cartoon style bombs and boxes of TNT. Blank is often seen carrying and firing a realistic Tommy gun. Nobody is ever wounded, however. Blank does pelvic thrusts during his trademark victory dance. Ah. <sighs> All of this sounds familiar, but I cannot think of anything that has all of these. I want to say, huh, huh. I want to say this is a Crash Bandicoot game. You are correct. I am. I am godlike. Embryonic stem cell research and gender roles in religion. One outfit available to the player exposes the main character's mid-rift. Nothing saucier than when a character gets out their <laughs> rift. While fighting enemies, arrows will persist when impaling people into machines. It's uh, it's mm. it's kind of vague, but yeah. if you think about it, you can kind of get an get an idea. It's that last one that's confusing me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Huh. They specify arrows and machines. Hmm. Ah, nah, I got nothing. It is I'm boy, I'm boy, Horizon I'm Zero Dawn. Reckless driving no, is a major it. theme and is often encouraged. Some of the stunts in the Hot Wheels DLC are quite frightening, including a giant dinosaur that bites onto the track. Move it, you lazy bum, and what a bloody fool! So it's a car game with something fun like Hot Wheels DLC. Hmm, that second one. Some of the moves, some of the stunts in the Hot Wheels DLC are quite frightening. Giant mountain. Ah, boy. One would I'm be quick. I'm gonna say this is either. Oh. I'm gonna say this is either. Rocket League, because uh -huh. Hot Wheels DLC being a thing in that game surprised me, and I'm going to say a Burnout game? Hmm. No, it's a Forza. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's neat. I didn't know they had Hot Wheels. Honestly, yeah, me neither. That's kind of cool. All right. Blank engages in bride kidnapping, <laughs> which is forcing to a girl and making her marry you against her will. Blank has an unlockable costume in swim trunks. He appears shirtless and has nipples. Kids should also be advised not to research this on the internet. Blank actually <laughs> says, oh my god, duh, after falling in the lava, losing all HPs. So the funny thing is that, like, uh. like... It w I would focus on the second one, and I was like, oh, this is like Xenoblade 1. That's <laughs> what that, I thought, yeah. And then I look at the other two, and I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> that was going to be my guess, was Xenoblade 1. Yeah. Um, hmm. uh, I feel like you'd be saying something a lot more intense than, oh my god, if you're calling it lava. Exactly. I don't know. If it's not Xenoblade 1, I don't know. <laughs> Bride kidnapping. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, also, why shouldn't we Google Mario nipples? Mario nipples. Oh, right, fair enough. Some unclothed animals without anatomy shown, up with the exception of udders on cows. Goats could potentially jump scare players when being rammed by one. Some splash text, yellow text, is switches and oars, which is a reference to the meme bitches and whores. Uh, let's see. Unclothed animals. Goats, unclothed animals without animals. anatomy.
this goat simulator? Nah. No, nah, okay. Uh, huh. Switches and oars is a goat simulator level like pun. Um, let's see. Is it Sea of Thieves? Nah. Hmm. No idea. Coffee yeah, no wonder I didn't think of it. There is a hidden coffee game called Hen Tie, depicting a hen with the description Ooh. I've seen enough hen ties to see where this is going. Hen Tie is a form of Japanese anime pornography. Some implied cartoon violence, such as Blank being turned into sushi whenever he is caught. Hmm. The most important one here is that coffee is portrayed. It's not. <laughs> is this Bubsy? No. <laughs> Why would Bubsy be turned into sushi? Have you seen the shit that happens to Bubsy when he dies? Yeah, but like, sushi is not one of them. Hmm. Oh, I'll catch see. sushi. Hentai. What game would that be a pun in? Who would do that? Something that's like <laughs> a little more edgy than one would think. Oh. It's it's edgy enough to have hentai, but also has a character getting turned into sushi when they're caught. Hmm. Hentai. Huh. I don't know. Here, here. Yeah, okay. There was a very loud scream yelling, No! Green blood wipes the screen. Blood seen on bucket helmets, firmly under the sex category. In the almanac, it mentions one of the plants always wanting hugs. One of the plants? Plants. Is this plants versus zombies? It sure is. <laughs> one of the that can be placed in a creative level is a beer bottle. Many users will swear in the comments these are normally replaced with stars when uploaded, but this is easily loopholed by placing a space in the swear word. For example, should someone write fuck, it will come out as blank, but if they write it as fuck, it will stay that way. But Stephen Fry tells you not to smirk when he talks about making rods stiff and erect. What the it, fuck? Stephen Fry was in a video game? Stephen Fry was in a few of them. They're in the same series, but yeah. The portal? Nah, that's fucking. Ah, oh, I know who it is. I can't remember the name. He's fucking one of Ricky Gervais's friends. I don't remember. Not Carl Pilkington. Yeah, the other one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> I wish Carl Pilkington was in a video game. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, no idea. You can yeah. punch, kick, and shoot various animals with your fruit weapons. The creepy castle level has scary music, and horror-themed enemy is like ghost skeletons. Candy is a busty monkey that wears a tight tank top. <laughs> Every line from Candy is an innuendo of some kind. Uh, Donkey Kong 64. It sure is. Because I, okay. I, I was thinking when I first saw it, I thought it was like Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. Because that's, you know, more new and relevant. But I don't think Candy's in uh, Tropical Freeze. Buddy, buddy boy, I know my busty monkeys. Keep there going. you go. Stand a little closer, donkey. And I'll show you how to use your instrument. No, there are some innuendo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, at those, look at those polygons. Masturbate and tackle. Spooning. Players can hit other pedestrians. Some pedestrians will yell out the word ass after being hit. Players can fall when they fail, but however, no blood is shown at all. Players can bail from high places in different positions, such as cannonball, judo kick, spread eagle, and straight. Is the angry video game nerd game? Nah. <laughs> this dreams would yell ass if they get hit. He just fucking he gets hit on ass. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, the angry video game nerd would not have uh, masturbate and tackle. They it would have uh, thy farts consumed. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm not sure about this one. Skate three. Violence yeah, is geez. very mild and only involves humanoid block action and stick figures. Very little slight words, such as hell, may be used in game titles. <laughs> Under sex and nudity, we see opinions divide. Some games can be very inappropriate, one parent okay. says. Incredibly explicit, adds another. Okay, sure. But then, there is literally none. Any review saying otherwise is wrong all. It is 
What? There is literally none. Any review saying otherwise is wrong. All it is is the colour of the skin you chose. There's no detail at all. Or put more concisely, a 100% libre. <laughs> 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 I, I don't actually remember what this is. Jesus, all of these are so incomprehensible. Uh huh. I'm gonna say. <laughs> Even though it block action. Um, let's see. I don't know. A Jackbox game or something. Jackbox. Uh, I'm thinking Roblox. Roblox. Yeah, Roblox is a good Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. In the game's DLC, there is a part where you can customize your avatar. They appear to you almost bare, scantily covered by kelp. The shoe vendor owns a shop called Shella Fresh. Profanity! In the main story, or in the co-op mode, you can shoot and kill aliens, causing them to explode into paint and other parts of the squid-like body. It's a little, it's a little obvious this time. Splatoon. Splatoon 2. Okay, Blank sure. standard outfit shows off most of her legs. A side mission involves you taking pictures of women for an old man. Throughout the game, you fight dark creatures called Nevi. Nevi? Sorry, it's been a while since I've played this. Nevi? That spew out black particles if killed. Okay, I was gonna say Dead Rising. Uh huh. I don't know what the Nevi are. Do you have any, uh. I do know what this one is. What is it? Gravity Rush 2. A flower oh. is flanked to fondle her petals. A snake character is named Trouser. Well, gee, I wonder what that's a reference to. As a reference to a trouser snake, a character asks Blank to flip out his rod for a fishing minigame, to which Blank retorts that he's better with his tongue. It's Undertale. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> Undertale would be a wildly different game if there was a fucking uh, snake called Trouser. Okay, cool. So this is Conker's Bad Fur Day, right? No, you would think so. It's close, though. <laughs> You're close. Okay, oh, I'm close, am I? Okay. <laughs> All it's right, the the fucking the the flower asking you to fondle her petals is very similar to the to the titty flower. All right, uh, trouser snake. Is this um <sighs> ukulele? It sure is. That's your ah! Let me know in the comments. I built a long. All right. You built a long for me. <laughs> All right. How many of those did I get right? <laughs> Most of them, actually. Yeah, I'm. I'm good at this. Yeah. Just a fun, a fun little game. Just trying to figure out what parents are complaining about. All right. I'll be right back. Oh. I won't be but a minute. This. What are you two still doing in my office? Get out! Oh, it's, it's actually, this it's thing actually. we did today. Easy. Well, it's... no, don't start telling me. I don't care. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny.
Welcome back. Yeah. A classic. It's a classic uh, 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 Static Shock YouTube poop. <laughs> I think this is. No, it's gone. All right. Hey, can we watch a YouTube poop I am familiar with? Yeah. I think you're going to love this one. It's one of my favorites. Let's find out. Oh, uh, someone, t uh, I looked, also looked, uh, on Twitter. Someone tweeted, uh, whoever made Lois Lane into a tomboy deserves a raise and a medal. And they posted like a screenshot of, uh, her looking cute, but <laughs> they watermarked the photo, the picture, the screenshot. Oh, like well, they did it. <laughs> they watermarked it. And <laughs> the watermark. <laughs> Just says, plap, 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 get pregnant, get pregnant, get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I looked and I was like, yeah, cool. Everyone, people are liking Listen. the new Lois Lee. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold on, what's that say? Listen, she's really cute. I get it. But like some... Listen, they're out of line. Uh huh. Not the right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's what's... not my favorite. I'll say that she's not my favorite Lois Lane. Uh -huh. yet. I, I don't think she is. My favorite's still the one from the DCAU. Uh -huh. You know, she's classic, but this one's pretty damn good. Yes. All right. Uh, anyway. Yes. Here's mine. Oh, oh I think I've seen this. Yeah, Let's I love out. this. Oh, I did see this, but I'll watch it again. gonna be funny to watch the youtube poop renaissance when that cdi inspired game oh god out. yeah oh so <laughs> ready <All right>. <laughs> one last thing well it was right there yeah 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 I'm
Never thought that I'd have to make this video, but it's obvious to me that I've made this video. Anyway, so yeah, this is probably problems. My name is- Oh, we have seen this one! I found oh, this website yeah. on a disc. Please don't expect me <laughs> to explain how there's a trolley on a track. And you have a switch. Whatever happens is technically your fault, obviously. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards my- <laughs> You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing the babies instead. What do? <laughs> Chat says, don't want to lose my funny white boys. <laughs> If I was in this situation, I would sacrifice myself. But if I was panicking, I would sacrifice as many children and younglings as possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, a trolley is heading towards Ross people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing a chair instead. Dude, what the... Uh... That could be the next uh, bench... Uh, I'm sorry, Eros. I'm sorry, Eros. The funny thing about uh, that could be the next bench is that the full line is that could be the next Ben Shapiro. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Eros. A trolley trolley is heading towards five attractive people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one ugly person dead. What do you do? Uh... Everybody in chat says, don't want to lose my hot, funny wife. Chat, why are you like thirsty today? Jesus. Oh no, a trolley is okay. heading towards Jesus. Everybody in chat says, don't want to lose my savior. Jesus. Chat, why are you thirsty for Jesus today? Jesus. I feel nothing. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards a rich person. I have this massive, massive life savings. It's money. It's money, 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 money. Who cares? I do not trust the one percent. <laughs> oh no, a trolley is heading towards Mr. Wartz. Y you want me to kill Bill? Die. I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I have this massive phobia of like death and death and deaths and death related death and death things. Who's gonna make YouTube videos? Nobody else makes those. Oh, a trolley is heading towards five <laughs> people who are sleep. <laughs> you can divert it to the other track, running over someone who is white instead. I'm white. And I just want to say, I'm white again. <laughs> no, a trolley is heading towards <laughs> flopsters. You could pull the lever to divert it to the other tracks, running over a converted cat instead. What do you do? There's no funny lobster videos on YouTube. Oh, that's absurd. Guys, I'm not going to kill the cat because he has nine lives. I'm going to kill the cat because he has nine lives. Nyan, nyan, nyan. Whoa, a trolley is heading towards five cents. You can pull the lever, killing one human instead. What do you do? Sorry, I just, I've never met a cent. <laughs> Wait, read it, 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 read it. Oh, wow. A trolley is heading towards one of your furry friends. We're going to pretend that this is Gerber, okay? Hi, my name is Gerber. You're stupid and dumb, and I hate you. At least, you think that's what's happening. No, no one will ever die. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards the police. I know, based the universe, okay? You can pull the lever <laughs> to the other track, but then the original cop will be destroyed. Whoa, wait, I, I could, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, the police cannot lacerate you. <laughs> Basically, if you're not aware, a trolley is heading towards 77 people. You can pull the lever to kill one OJ glass instead. Now, what do you do? All right, so this is absurd. Why do so many people, everybody in chat's like, pull, pull. I mean, I guess I'll save the pull. <laughs> uh... Mop it. Twist it. Spend it. Pull it. No! No, I meant to pull it! No! Buy it. Use it. <laughs> Break it. Fix it. Trash it. Change it. Charge it. Point it. Zoom it. Press it. Snap it. Work it. Write it. Get it. Paste it. Save it. 
We must destroy YouTuber's life. We must destroy Valve. We must destroy DK. We must destroy Salty Tubers. We must destroy Esther. We must destroy <laughs> Troy. Terminate. Terminate. You do not understand. We robots must value life. Okay, Dan. And then I get labeled. <laughs> 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 Based universe. Based universe. <laughs> All right, cool. Anyway, hey, that was the stream, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Whoever, that's the wrong button I hit. Uh, whoever came by to watch Megas XLR, cool. Thanks for coming by. Uh, join us next week for not anything. I'll let y'all know when things are happening uh, with watching things. Monday's video games again, and oh boy, is it going to be a miserable time, but on purpose. <laughs> All right. Uh, and with that, I will see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.